The show starts in five minutes. Talk is cheap. That's why I keep winning. I release hot tracks fire. I run this rap game. I run YouTube. And y'all fools don't do nothing. Just like you say what you're going to do. You keep saying things that don't exist. Doesn't bother me. What's the point? I'm not going to argue with a fake account, brother. I mean, if you feel some type of way and you're mad at how rich I am, how, how good looking I am, how successful I am, come say it to my face. That's all. That's something you have to do. I mean, you can't afford a plane ticket. You scared. You terrified. Whatever. That's y'all's problem. I'm not on here to talk to you about things that are irrelevant. Everything that you're saying doesn't exist. It makes no sense. You people think that I'm dumb or something. I'm way smarter than you, bro. <laughs> I'm way smarter than you, bro. I've been outsmarting you and fooling y'all since the beginning of this. Y'all want to come for me? Hey, bring it. You're going to lose. <laughs> you're going to lose and my record going to be crystal clear. The show starts in four minutes. What you talking about? You don't know me, bro. <laughs> You already know better than, than to be saying things that don't make no sense and talking about my life. And, and like, what are you talking about? You don't know me, dude. Hm. You already came for me. All it does is bless me. Like I told you, what you gonna do now? Hm. You, you, you gonna keep committing crimes? Go ahead. I'm right here, bro. Not scared at all of none of you. Like I said, I've been putting y'all in your place right to your face. I'm doing my show right in front of you. Understand that. And I'm telling you right to your face how I feel about you. All of you. What do you mean? You got something for me? Okay, cool. Let's open the chat then. Because what I, what they're going to do, people, is they're going to type to themselves, not acknowledge a word I have to say, and then act like they accomplished something. Can you imagine being that petty and that weak? Let's go. Let's do it. Easy money. This is easy. You're hilarious, bro. Live chat. Let's go. Let's do it. Now, you're committing federal crimes on here. The chat's open. The show starts in three minutes. Spam a chat. Grown-ass men and women spamming a chat like cowards. I come on here, I have to do my show according to rules. I have to watch my mouth. How is that fair? You're a coward, homie. You're a straight coward, homie. I'm in these streets every day. You're a coward. You hear that? Coward. Feel that? I got everything. You hear that? I run, I run everything. You hear that? I'm bigger than the cartel. You hear that? Suck. And we have our first hello of the show, and that goes to John Cole. And thank you again for the very kind words relative to Viva Las Vegas. I got to admit, I love that one myself. And hey, Sheriff Gonsent is here also. Yep, we're on on a Thursday afternoon. And here's Black Label Mark. <laughs> For real. Indeed. Indeed, Mark. Huh? Now do something about it. What you gonna do? I'll antagonize you every day. You won't do nothing. I'll tell all you punks to your face. Huh? You keep talking to me like, 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 like you really about, you ain't about nothing. What's up? Huh? What's up? You wanna piss me off today? What's up? Huh? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Chat open. What's up? What you got for me? Huh? That's what I thought. Y'all can't handle me. So be quiet. You soft. Hiding behind a camera. What's up? That's what I thought. You want to piss someone off? I'll get pissed off like I told you, and my life will be good. What's up? What's good, he The show starts in two minutes. Exactly, Don't talk about me, Keep my name out your mouth. You got that? That's how we play. Yeah, that's who I am. I don't let people talk crazy about me. You understand that, boy? Yeah, you people already got exposed. I got your picture. You going to prison. What's good? You got something to say to me? You keep coming over here every day harassing me. I'm pressing charges. When will they do their job? What's up? And the king of shoes and stereo equipment is with us right now. Please welcome DZ1119. And what do you know? It's Joe Packricker, the second checking in all the way from Scotland. How are you this afternoon? Where I'm at, sir. Now they can do their job. Do your job, punk. Don't tell me nothing, punk. Got that? Yeah, I'll tell you to your face, any of you. I'm a free American citizen. I do what I want. You got that? And I'll raise my voice all I want, wherever I'm at. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a name I don't recall seeing before. Put it together for Lolocost. <laughs> I like that. I like that quite a bit. <laughs> you funny. What's up? What's up? I'm supposedly pissed off, right? Because you keep talking, but I'm not pissed off. You just keep running your mouth. You're harassing me. I want people to do their job. Leave me alone. I'm not playing with you, What's up? Oh, now y'all quiet. Right, you quiet. Right, exactly. Right, now, let's, let's do this. Fuck the show. The show starts in one minute. 
who I am, and I'm in your face this letting you know what time it is, you fucking pussy ass bitch. What's up? What's up for that? For yelling, bitch ass. What you gonna do? Nothing, you fucking faggot. Keep my fucking name out your mouth. You got that, punk ass bitch? Yeah. Now do something, you fucking bitch. One. Stay the fuck off my show. You got that? And I'll tell you to your face, boy. I'm coming to your county and filing a police report. Fuck you. You wanna come for my shit, my life? Fuck you. Try me, you bitch ass. And I'll tell any of you corrupt fucking pussies to your fucking face. Now do something, bitch. I'm and now here live, we not only have Mr. Metal Skull, but Red Screen joins the show also. About that, fucking faggot. Now record it, you, you fucking faggot, because you ain't going to do shit. Because I do what the fuck I want, bitch ass. Run, bitch. Now we're going to come right back and do a real show, fucking faggot. Keep your mouth shut, bitch. Got that? Talk to me anytime to my face so I can get at you like this, you Yes, I noticed that. I think he was on it like... Two o'clock this morning, my time. Fucking little pussy, stay the fuck off my page. Keep your fucking mouth shut when I talk, bitch. And now, on with the show. Hello again, Sneedville. I'm Rich Baritone, and it is time once again to restream Tyree Sneed. So what we are going to watch today is one from about two or three days ago. It's called Allow Me to Chime In on this Wonderful Topic, Kursari Bro. Okay, this one's about Kusari. Kusari is an internet documentarian, and he gets hella views. He's got a video with over half a million views, and he has 24,100 subscribers, both facts of which were guaranteed to send Tyree just around the bend. How he heard about this guy, I've not a clue of anybody that is here right now knows how Tyree Sneed stumbled across Kusari. Please let me know. But what we're about to do now is, is run this thing. There's absolutely no avoiding it. That's, that's what we're here for after all. So let's add it to the stage. And now for your enjoyment, I hope, allow me to chime in on this wonderful topic at Kusari Bra, right here on Negative 43 TV. I'm Rich Baritone. Hello there. Hey, hey, hey. We got another new one here. Will you please say hello to Nicker? Yes, indeed. So let's go ahead and get this thing going. We'll add it to the stage. And off we go into the madness. As soon as I hit the button, of course. Ah, there we go. All right. What's up, there. people? Welcome to the show. All right. So real quick, I just want to give, uh, well, I want to chime in a little bit and give my opinion. Um, since my name has to be mentioned because I'm the big superstar celebrity that I am, and I happen to be bigger than all of you combined, and you got that. The party is really rolling now. You can tell because Kelchu Bordnor is here. Wrong. That would be misinformation and slander, my good sir. Okay. Um, which is the issue and why I want to talk about it real quick, and then we're going to take it to my other channel, I Am The Only Real Batman, and I'm going to upload all of my music, and we're going to play that, and I'm going to really go in. But real quick, um, number... Oh man, Mark, that obviously that's extremely choice. I I would almost be afraid to use it. Yeah, it, it's a monster. Number one, all of you on this network are basically going to prison because you're committing a bunch of crimes. Jeezy, get a Squire Mustang. It's short scale. It's the easiest thing you can possibly get to play. And if you like it, you can grade up from there upgrade is the word i'm looking for and you can get them very very cheaply i would probably take mark's opinion over mine what with him being a professional musician and everything and me being a uh, collector of frankly inexpensive guitars that doesn't play very well number two okay um all of you are clearly terrified Okay, and nobody is scared of you all. Number three, I run everything. I run the streets. I run this network. Number four, you all have proven that I make 
crystal clear coherent sense. You all make none, and that you all use YouTube to vent your delusion. Okay. Meaning you don't actually make sense when you speak. You just come on this network and basically spew delusion, just rambling nonsense. Okay. So I just want to correct you real quick. Number one. Okay, if you look at your screen, I think we have an explanation for this entire video. I'll read it for any listeners out there. Kusari made a video on Jared 333, and Tyree is on Jared's cock real hard. Kusari, okay? You are now um, uh, facing a lawsuit. That's right. I will be taking you to court 100% guaranteed. I am filing a lawsuit against you for defamation of character and slander. Do not ever bring my name up. I am not him. I am me. Okay. I happen to own more equity than Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, all of them combined. They're not coming close to what I own. That's number one. Number two, nobody comes close or could supersede my power. That's number two. All right, Black Label Mark will be listening in his car, so maybe I'll DJ it up a little bit more. Three, I happen to have all the power in the street and run the streets, and I'm Batman. So it's just like everything that you see in the movie concepts, I'm that, right? So I happen to be one of the most powerful men in the world, and here you are on YouTube, again, abusing your fake uh, sense of power, and again, I want to state real clearly, your views and subs are fake. You're not fooling anyone. First of all, understand that. I am bigger than you on this platform. I am bigger than Daniel Larson. On Fender Precision Base. On this platform. That is a guarantee. There is no question about it. I've exposed and shown that they changed my numbers. Magnolia Queens here, everybody. We've caught them red-handed doing it. I'm the one who's being targeted by the government and all these corporations. Correct. So again, this is a Freemasonic platform. I've done radio for over 15 to 20 years against Illuminati and Freemasonry. You're on YouTube just like I am. Yeah, Mustang, Fender Mustang. Yeah, I would imagine nowadays those are probably pushing a grand. I have been attacked every single way, shape, and form that that I possibly could be. Okay. And I'm somehow still still kicking and still talking, which is amazing. Okay, that's number one, right? So number one, number two, I'm not supposed to be this resilient. Number three. Okay, everybody, the goddess that is L. Frost is amongst us. Please make welcome. Again, Kusari, I want to repeat things since, you know, the individuals you hang out with, which you have individuals who are actually facing actual prison time in your comment section. Let me remind you. Yes, going on YouTube, YouTube's not a courtroom. So all of you are wasting your time going to YouTube. Quit doing it. Um, YouTube doesn't mean anything. You're not going to be able to talk your way out of your sentencing or the crimes you've committed on YouTube. Now, very clearly, let me explain law to you since my father was a UT graduate lawyer and was an injury defense lawyer, and I watched him his entire life, okay, homie, uh, actually take these cases, right, for, so, for, uh, for, for injury cases. His dad chased ambulances. The rest of his family was into heavy business law and even the judicial profession. Listen. OK, let me explain to you how this works, since my grandfather was an actual Supreme Court justice. His grandfather did not sit on the Supreme Court. I believe he sat on the Ninth Circuit Court. If he would just tell the truth, the truth is impressive as hell. He doesn't have to lie about this guy being on the Supreme Court. Well, he probably doesn't know the difference between a district court and the Supreme Court, but that's Tyree for you. We call this his genetic law degree. Okay, uh, he was an actual Supreme Court judge, and I happen to be the descendant of all these people, okay, a as well as the uh, wicked w wicked one, right, who, who we all know what really is, the Wicked Witch of the West, right? <laughs> right? Ah, uh, there we go. There's the root cause of this particular video. 
This is about Frost comments to Kusari. This that makes it extra good for me. Uh, which is my aunt Carly Fiorina, right? So who ran C, uh, who was the he, CEO of Hewlett Packard, and basically he ran it into the ground and completely failed. And there's a bunch of articles and videos on that. She did nothing. She laid off millions of people, and everybody hates her. I know nothing about the legal profession, but I think chasing ambulances is considered low practice. So let's continue on. Okay. She was a failure. She got caught in a Planned Parenthood scam. Remember, because she's a liar. She got caught in her lies. Okay. Just like the other individual that you want to talk about. I have no interest mentioning their name. They don't. Arriving with enthusiasm is Clint Cobra, GFS. Exist. They don't have an identity. Okay. All the crimes of which have been committed are all documented. Um, the, most of the videos are out publicly. That's number one. Number two. Clearly, he's just getting his own karma. He's just getting a taste and a dose of his own medicine from the same people who he tried to work with who are now turning on him. But he tried to work with those people against me. So that also, I have complete proof. I have actual documentation right here, right, of be me being doxxed, me being followed and stalked. Um, uh, that individual, right, accepting money, right, to try to supposedly, quote, on me being followed and stalked. My question would be, can you stalk a program? Can you stalk a live stream? Can you stalk a television show? The answer to all of those questions is, of course, no. Quote, do something to me, which we all know is not possible, but just the fact that you actually accepted the money and then talked about it on a live stream that I have. The last I heard about the King Cobra drama was that somebody canceled her flight reservation. Yes, indeed. On my channel, and you admitted to that. Apparently dumb enough to show the reservation number on a stream, so it's very likely that that happened, given how they operate over in Cobstown. That's one of the highest crimes you can commit, brother. Okay. All those things that you did, and then you're on you're on your channel still trying to complain, which I'm not watching your videos. I don't watch you at all. I refuse to. All right, everybody. Billy Bats is here. It's time to go get your shine box. Um, and basically, it's common sense that your channel is going to be flagged down soon, and that's what you're worried about, right? And then you basically continue to try to use the same scapegoats, same excuses, which aren't going to work. They're just not going to work. I mean, when you go to court, you're not going to have these excuses. They're going to literally. Another thing I don't know anything about is flying. I have never been on a commercial airliner. I'm scared to death of flying. But I understand once that occurs, you can't get your money back. Hold everybody accountable and responsible. They're going to say, okay, well, why were you using these people to do this? Why are you having them attack, meaning me? Why are you having people, individuals, other individuals attack me, right? If you have an issue, right, you could just stand up and say an issue. I mean, number one, why can't you stand on your own two feet? They're going to ask you all this. Right. They're going to ask why you're why you're following me, but ducking me at the same time, why you're a coward. They're going to continue to ask you all these questions. OK, so look at your screen, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, I did call you ladies and gentlemen. DZ needs to put a beat to this and post it. You got to really understand, like y'all are just doing it to yourself at this point. Number one, Kusari. All those views, you bought them. You're not fooling anybody over here, okay? You can't get views like that that quickly. It's not even possible. You buy your views and your subs. You, I think you said in that video, because I watched it today, right? Uh, I think you said that you're like a college, you're in college or something. Yeah, um, you're a... F oh, okay. Those are, those are lyrics to an actual rap, okay? I, something I wouldn't know about. Failure. Let me explain that to you. You're an epic failure. Okay. Number one, understand who you're talking to. I dropped out of college a multimillionaire. So you never can Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. An epic failure? He's got one video that has over half a million views. Ooh, bathe in that goodness, Tyree. And by the way, hi there, loser. You will pay homage to my name and what I've accomplished, and you'll talk to me with some respect. You understand that, boy? That's number one. Number two, Kusari, please get a gym membership. At this point, he should do a video on Tyree. Says he's in college. Uh, 
what little I've seen of his stuff. To, I think he's a film student. Yeah, he should definitely go in on Tyree at this point because the the material's there. The material is there, and it's there for years and years and years, and it's there from several different voices. You know, people take his stuff and do things with it. There's there's really been a lot going on in Sneedville, so much to work with. Because just by hearing your light voice, I can tell, right, that you're very feminine and you're very light, meaning you're lightweight. You probably weigh about a buck soaking wet, okay? So, number one. Now, that is true. Mr. Snowflake set the bar very, very high when it comes to Tyree Steed documentaries. But my money's on Kusari for matching it, at least matching it. I don't know why you're mentioning my name. Number two, mentioning trolls that have nothing to do with anything I've ever said or done and are completely committing slander and committing crimes of harassment and cyberbullying and gang stalking in court. What do you think that does? That is your admission of guilt that you are a part of that conspiracy. I'll be right back. I'm going to mute the mic. So let's play. Will Rich mute himself? It's fun. My good sir. So now, Kusari, you just walked yourself into a federal prison sentence in the penitentiary. Now, please explain to me how you're supposed to be a smart individual, how this other individual is saying that you know how to talk so well and you have a gift with talking, but I just talked, uh, I apparently just explained to you how you're so slow that you just walked yourself into a full-on prison sentence in the penitentiary guaranteed there's not a doubt about it it's guaranteed let me explain to you why you just admitted that you're working with my gang stalkers any individual that does that i don't know why you all keep jumping out the box doing this any individual that does that guess what you receive prison i'm back and i didn't mute myself well what do you know hot dog as they used to say a long time ago time okay any individual do not do it i don't know why you all keep committing crimes i don't know who's telling you to do these things or that they're wise i don't know why you feel that you're pushing an issue when you're behind a computer you coward <laughs> when you're behind a computer you coward you you need a mirror you need it really really bad yes tyree is back in the bat suit i believe he's riding his bike in the dark with his Batman stuff on. I'm I'm still waiting for the mugging. I'm going to say it again. You're not accomplishing anything. You're not doing anything. There's nobody real who watches you. Nobody knows who you are, Kusari. I can say your name a million times. I have a real audience, real fans, and not one of them will know who you are. I guarantee it. And I can walk up to people in the street and matter of <laughs> Me too. I took it easy for two or three days because yesterday... I had a Medicare wellness check, which means that I have to remember three words. They take my blood pressure and do some blood work, and that's the extent of the physical. I learned something, though. On the way there, I was listening to this very video, and I was in a mood where Tyree just pissed me the fuck off. You know, sometimes you can laugh at it very easily. Sometimes it gets so grating that you wind up taking frustrations out on the video, which is typically a good thing. It wasn't a good thing yesterday. I go in there, get weighed, sit down. They put the blood pressure cuff on me, and the number came back so high, I'm not going to scare anybody who may actually care about me by telling you what it was. Well, this freaked me out. My doctor comes in. He says, no problem. We're going to take it again in a few minutes. And he took it again in a few minutes. And probably partially out of me worrying about it, it came back so high, I thought he was going to send me to the hospital. I really, really did. Then he took it again, and it went down like 60 points. So the lesson here is if you're going to the doctor and you know that you are going to have your blood pressure checked, which is pretty much built into the whole thing, don't listen to Tyree. Don't listen to Tyree. Just, just don't do it. In fact, I will go around Brownsville and actively ask real people, do you know who this individual is? And my blood pressure was normal this morning.
is. And they're going to say no, because you're a liar and you're a fugazi and you're a fake, just like all the people you hang out with. Okay. Now, now that we've got it completely solid and completely proven that you have committed slander and defamation of character on me, right? You, 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 you were associated with cyber bullies and gang stalkers, people who have harassed me to no avail and accomplished absolutely nothing. People who have done all sorts of illegal things, and I have documentation of all of it. So, I mean, if they're committing all those felonies and then you – uh, literally admit that you're working with them. When you mention these people like Snowflake, I've never seen that BS. Neither has anyone else in the street or anyone real. We don't respect you. Who are you talking to and who are you talking about? Nobody gave you permission to say my name. Nobody said, oh yeah, we believe what you're saying. You just went on a channel and made a video behind a computer. Notice the trend? You all do everything that you do behind a computer. Coward much? How do you feel about that? Now, you have to understand, okay? You are very slow. You are not a smart pigeon, okay? Because if you were a smart pigeon, you wouldn't have incriminated yourself today. You wouldn't have indicted yourself. You wouldn't have put yourself and walked yourself into a situation of a federal charge in a federal penitentiary sentence. It's not funny. Whoever you're listening to that told you that was a good idea, they're very slow. Now, I encourage you to keep listening to them, okay, while you claim that you're in college and you actively are putting yourself in prison. So isn't that contradictory, proving that you're another narcissist, proving that you have NPD, like all of you project, right? Because you're literally actively speaking, and in one instance, you're saying, yeah, I'm going to school. None of you are going to school. None of you have a career. None of you are building anything. I'm building something. What you're trying to do is stop that. Why don't you get it right and call it what it is? If you're in college, you're just posing. You're not actually studying. You're not actually taking it seriously like I did. I finished all my basics. I didn't buy one bit, one book, and I stopped going to class. I started getting the reading material from other students. And you know what my GPA was? 3.34. That proves I'm a genius. In high school, you know what my GPA was? A 4.2. I was the top 10 of my the class with a diploma distinction. I didn't get a normal diploma like most of you. I got a diploma of distinction, meaning I'm a certified genius. I can say and do what the hell I want. Like I said, I own more equity than any individual, including Carly Fiorina. Her illusion is not even close to me. And Freemasons do not own anything, homie. So please do your math and do your homework before you come talk to me. Now, if you mention my name, you're going to go to jail and prison. I don't know how else to explain that to you. all. I think that it, it, you should have some common sense and not speak my name. That's number one. Number two. I don't care what you have to say at, at, at no point. Does this sound familiar? At no point in your long rambling rant, did you come anywhere close to answering the question about who I am or anything? Okay. You literally use my likeness, which is also illegal. I never gave you permission. You never asked me, right? You never even approached me on your coward internet and asked me for permission to mention my name. I am suing you. I am filing a lawsuit and you're going to go to prison and you're going to pay fines. Do not mention my name again. Is that clear? Okay. I am a boss. I am not you. I am in a position of success. You cannot do me any kind of damage, right? Because my reputation is not based off of YouTube, partner. My reputation is not based off of videos, partner. Okay. My reputation is not based off of people like you. OK, who, again, are behind computers and are clearly cowards. Right. And nerds. OK, that's your issue. You got to deal with that. You got to deal with the fact that you're in college right now. Right. Welcome, of course, to Wiccan. And ironically, since I was talking about the doctor's office, they just called me. My doctor prescribed me a blood pressure monitoring kit. I'm due one through Medicare. My pharmacy wouldn't fill it. I tried another pharmacy. They won't fill it. It's something about insurance. It's like, I got this from my doctor, okay? I am I have this coming to me. So they're going to try to run it through a medical supply company now because no pharmacy wants to honor Medicare relative to a blood pressure cuff. Unreal. Anyway, let me have some fun now.
dumb decision. If you really knew anything and you were a genius and you were good at talking, as this other delusional individual stated, then why are you in college? Because guess what? Dropping out of college is the number one way to success, being an entrepreneur. You all don't like entrepreneurs like me because we continue to be successful. What's up? As I speak, I'm in the process of building a mobile goods store. Nutword is mad as hell about it, correct? Tell me when I'm wrong. Tell me when I'm lying, right? We have a members only chat, by the way, too. Which nobody is in relative to his store. He has nothing for sale. He's got what, two bikes now? Does he have two or three bikes now? He's building inventory. Well, you should start selling immediately, don't you think? Right? If if I have a name of a YouTuber on here and they were really popular, why are there not thousands of people over here right now? I call fake. I call Fugazi. Next, it's that easy. Like I said, I'm building a scooter store, an e-mobile goods store. I have everything. I just purchased a new bicycle. I got two bikes. Two bicycles right here. Nice as hell. Nice as they come, right? Two bicycles for sale, right? 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 What's that? No? I've got the other bat cycle that I decommissioned. I'm about to go buy another scooter. I've got a $4,000 TV here, my good sir. And I got a $300 skateboard and another $100 scooter right there, right? $110 bicycle. The other one. Yeah, I saw pictures of the uh, new bike. The color scheme is straight out of 1980 or 1996. That's what I meant to say. It's $200 that I just pulled out. $1,300 for the bat cycle that I put out of commission. And I'm probably going to be able to fix it. I'm almost positive. What do you have to say? How would you speak on me if literally my proofed vest right here costs more than anything you've ever seen? I have steel Batman armor right here. It is my personal God, and I hope he's your personal God, too. It's the real Tyrese Need, not this fake bastard we're listening to right now on Negative 43 TV. Costs more than anything you've ever seen. I'm wearing 530 on my wrist. Costs more than anything you've ever seen. Sir, why don't you pay homage and show some respect and then maybe you can get somewhere and accomplish something in this world. You can't get anywhere by trying to put others down and say that we're not who we are. That doesn't make sense. No, I'm not someone who made a name online doing crazy things. When did that happen? You didn't provide any sufficient proof. That's slander, my good sir. Enjoy prison. Enjoy paying fines. It's that simple. There's not a question about it. Any lawyer would literally be drooling for this lawsuit. Do you understand that? That's how slow you are, right? So at that point, literally, it's like I own you. So you're talking about low cows, but you are the low cow, Kusari, because I own you now because you just walked yourself right into a prison sentence. Next time, be a little more strategic. The whole prison thing is joked out. It's hard for me to come up with a riff on something that I've ripped on hundreds of times. That is one of the things that, that is pretty much joked out at this point. Strategic, okay, partner? Don't make me a competition. I done, I done told y'all this. Y'all don't listen. Y'all will never learn. You will never listen, bro. You can't mention a boss's name and expect a boss to not completely own you and completely respond. You can't mention someone who's in the position. Next on the show, we have Shady B, the only straight Batman. It's a fact. Position anyone would want to be in. I'm like limitless, okay? Do you understand that my girlfriend, the, the, the individual you're talking about, and this is what I want to go into now. Let, let's go into that now since we've got it established. Kusari is going to go to jail or prison for slander, defamation of character. It's guaranteed that I'll win the case. He's going to have to pay fines at the least, right? And you can't do that. You can't slander people. Now, the other individual, now he's, number one, he's a narcissist, right? So he's going to deny whatever is on video evidence. That's common sense. If you research narcissism like I do, I'm an expert on it. They're going to deny video oh, evidence, however, that's oh, not going to be oh, oh, boy, are you an expert on narcissism. Don't get me started. Petition in court. You can see clearly that it's him. It's not about just court. It's about what's right and wrong. We all know that you did it. There's not a question. on. Everybody knows it was you. That's number one. Number two, trying to talk your way around it, not going to work. You're not going to be able to talk your way out of it, clearly. Okay. Number three, this has nothing to do with me. Why was my name brought into it? At all. It, it, it doesn't even make any sense. The context of it made no sense. I have nothing to do with you people. I just host a radio show and that's it. 
It's that simple. What are you talking about? And half the people that come to my radio show, I don't know who the hell they are and I don't know anything about them. They're just an icon. There's no way for me to know. Whatever, whoever they are on their agenda, it is what it is. And I try to be a good person and that's the best I can do. I don't owe y'all nothing. I do a YouTube program. I don't come on my computer in fear like you wish, okay? So you can go ahead and miss me with everything you're talking about, okay? And, and, and just like go somewhere else on the internet with that because I'm not hearing it. OK, don't mention my name if you're not going to say the truth. That's number one. Number two, I'm not mad at you or anything. I just want you to understand reality that there's 100 percent going to be a lawsuit filed now because you made that video. That's how serious it is. So I hope it's worth the fact that I know you're not getting paid. I know you don't have a monetized channel because you're buying subs and views. It's all fake. The people you hang out with are fake. So how would you somehow be real? Come on, bro. Y'all been running around the internet trying to find someone that you bought enough subs and views and you feel like it makes you someone. It doesn't work. And I'm going to prove in court that you bought your subs and views. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to make a fool out of you in court. I'm not going to hold back at all. I'm going to have all my evidence ready to prove that you're a fraud and a failure. You're in college. Let me explain something to you, sir. Uh, I've looked at his page. Looks pretty legitimate to, to me. He, he's burying me. I have no problem with it. He's more talented at this than I am. No problem at all. You, however, are a green little bitch. You're jealous of anybody and anything. You're the kind of guy that would be jealous of a worm that got onto a sidewalk during a rainstorm and then dried to death. You would find something to be jealous about. You're in college for what? What do people go to college for? To make money, right? Okay, so you want to be in my position. And always remember, foil on the ground that was probably once wrapped around a burrito mesmerizes him. What the hell is that? It's a real quote. Right, because I got a 4,000. I don't know. The beans and guacamole on the foil tells me it came from Chipotle. All the TV right here sitting in a mansion, right on a huge estate, right, that I own. You are nobody. You want to get like me. So maybe you should show me some respect, boy, and act like it. Act like you respect me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, respect me now, nigga, ASAP, because you don't know me. OK, don't speak on somebody you don't know anything about, period. That's just that that, that part is. Well, since you bring it up, red screen. True. That's just <laughs> something that you don't do. That's common sense. Crypty OK, fuck. and like I said, I'm not mad at you. I, how can I be mad when you just did what I wanted? Walk yourself into a prison sentence. OK, and it's that simple, bro. So, I mean, you're going to have to come to court and you're not going to have an answer. You're just going to say, oh, 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 I'm just a, a, a college student. Oh, I didn't realize uh, who I was talking about. Well, then who did you listen to and who told you to do it? Because they're going to prison, too. And then all y'all going to snitch and rat on yourselves. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I own y'all. Yeah. By the way, I know a lot of you are trying to go on the run right now because the feds and the FBI are watching this. Rio James today was whining about the feds. You all said that that was the joke that I was playing. Uh, am I playing now? Because the feds are all over this. Feds, FBI are watching every move y'all make as we speak. Enjoy prison. OK, I don't play about nothing. You think they're that bored, do you? I kind of doubt anything you say. Of course, there's nothing new about that, but you know what I mean. My nigga, you, you, you all know that very well. So, no, you're going to go to prison and that's it. This seems like a good time to say this. This isn't for you regulars. You already know what the deal is, but we here at Negative 43 TV do not condone or co-sign any of the racism that will be heard in today's stream. We hate this guy as much as you do, but we feel that exposure is the way to go. How can you do anything about racist if you don't know where they are? And we're not going to play your game. And all I'm asking is don't mention my name unless you're going to make some sense and talk to me direct. If you're going to mention my name, make sure that I'm present. My presence was never requested. It hasn't been by any of these people who keep saying my name. And that, that individual has a channel that repeats my name nonstop, and I don't even know him. Isn't that weird? That's called gang stalking. He's going to go to prison. He's going to have to pay fines. Oh, whatever they, they decide. The point is this. You don't do what you're doing, okay? It's illegal, and it's that simple. Now, to the other individual. He does what he does, and he does it extremely well, and you can't stop.
understand it. We all know what he did. We all know that he's sick and wrong. I'm glad that you exposed that. All those parts of the video were all good stuff. Okay. I think you did a decent job with it. Right. But like I said, why do y'all always have to start pulling some other fake stuff like it's cute and think that it bothers anyone? Then you literally have everyone again. Tr you're trying to number one, talk about and involve like extra extras. It's like acting like. Oh man, but it, w it was a good time, wasn't it, DZ? It was great while it lasted. Yeah, I'm going to myself, I'm going to pick up a couple of uh, one gram screw ins today. You're trying to involve ex extras have nothing to do with this. This is a him issue and him only. It's that simple. Everyone else, the crimes that they committed, hey, they can go to prison for too. Actually, nobody's exempt. If you commit a crime, you go to prison. All this self-justification, oh, there's no proof. There's plenty of proof of what this individual has done. Actually, I've got tons of it right here. Mm -hmm. it, it's on me at all times, all the proof. What do you mean? So, I mean, before you speak and before you say something, just understand nobody's scared of you. I'm not going to bite my tongue. I'm not going to talk some way for you. I don't care. You're not going to twist my words. You don't scare me. I'm going to let you people know reality. Well, if everything stays on schedule, we should have dispensaries open here in the state of Ohio sometime early in September. I just hope that they don't do with dispensary weed, what they did with the medical marijuana program in the state of Ohio, which is, of course, a national joke. Right? No, my proof will always be with me 24-7, okay? I have my proof with me always, nigga, right? So, again, you think that it's cute. You think the things you do are cute. Number one, right? Trying to put people in danger, innocent people, all the things you're doing, bro. I vape 90% of the time anymore, closer to 95. It's just, it's much more cost efficient and it doesn't seem to challenge me from a respiration standpoint as much. Fall under the highest crimes that you could possibly commit. So don't tell me some fake story about, oh, I'm going to college. No, you're not. People go to college to make money. People go to college to be in my position. You can go to Michigan and get one gram screw-ins for 15 bucks. That is what I'm expecting. To do what the hell it better be. They want to do. You are with a group that's trying to stop people. Michigan is extraordinarily inexpensive when it comes to this stuff. If they try to gouge, which is totally what I expect them to do, They'll get they'll get a lot of business just from convenience, but if you're looking to really save money and have a good time, you're driving to Michigan. Well, civil rights like me that's trying to stop me from living my life, right? From being successful, and you failed and you can't stop me. And I'm right here. You have done nothing but try with all your might every day. What are you talking about? Y'all get mad when I make money or I eat something. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I'm getting uh, two one-gram screw-ins uh, today for $40. Let me explain this to you, bro. I don't even care about you. You're irrelevant. Let's talk about the other individual. So the other individual, he's guaranteed that he's going to go to prison. Y'all are saying, oh, well, he might go to prison for a felony. He's going to go to prison for several felonies. Doxing is a felony. It's a crime. Um Stalking, following me around is a crime. Slander, defamation of character is a crime. Having a whole channel devoted to me is a crime. It uh -oh. doesn't matter whether you flag it down or delete it. No. Oh my goodness, am I in a lot of trouble or what? If you look at my channel, it's 100% Tyree Sneed content. You see, Tyree Sneed is a comic muse of mine. I have a sense of humor that is no longer allowed in society, and it needs an outlet. So here it is. He elected himself. Yes, he certainly did. Now, what do you mean? There was one comment on about, oh, don't flag it. No, you're trying to help him. Don't flag it down. All the evidence will be destroyed. <laughs> Not at all. I have all the evidence documented, right? Frost says, I just realized I've tuned out Joey for the past 15 minutes. It works like that sometimes. Joey tends to be, as I have described him in the past, something of a fire pit that we all gather around to 
party, have a smoke, have a drink, or just have a nice sparkling water and just talk to one another. That's what's really, really cool about this whole thing. And it's also why I hope it never really grows. I see Boglum Chronicles, he'll do a, pre a premiere. There's 3,000 people in the chat. As I love to say, 5,000 people watch Cobes snore. I couldn't deal with it. Right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. What are you going to do about that? Yeah, no, uh, we don't uh, We don't need his channel. Flag his channel. He 100% should not be on YouTube. That <laughs> Flag his channel. Flag his channel. Isn't that something you're not supposed to say out loud? Something like that? Uh, yeah, uh, Frost has been focusing on the weed conversation, and it does get like that. You can get caught up in what is going on in the chat, and Joey just becomes, again, just a, a fire that we all gather around. That I agree with. Some of it, most of it, I agreed with, right? But like, don't don't try to mention me and then and then put me in some weird like like light like no dude like you're nobody. Are you a magazine outlet? No. Okay, then it's pointless, bro. No, I'm just a YouTube channel with a new arrival in Sneedville. Please welcome B H Road Stories to the show. It, like you're wasting your time, bro. Nobody cares what you have to say. Honestly, I'm a much bigger platform than you. It's doesn't. It's not about fake numbers. We all have proven this platform is fake. You literally have the same people who are stalking. We're doing real good, BH, and it's just a little bit better now that you're here. In your comments, please, please miss me with your fake act. You are not fooling anybody. Okay, you're full gazy. You're fake. Okay, so check this out. That individual, we know what he did, right? So why would y'all say, oh, well, there, there's no proof? Yeah, it sounds like he intimidated you you clearly the whole time to, and said, you better go online and clear my name. And he intimidated you into doing that and clear my name, right? That's what he said. And make sure you say, oh, well, none of it real. There's no proof. Oh, there's plenty of proof. Actually, there's plenty of proof because it was already admitted. You already gave admission, smart one. See, that other one, y'all love to talk to try to justify yourself and act like you're above. Who are you above? I'm sorry, but you come from people who are in poverty. Let me put you back in your place, okay? You come from people who are in poverty, okay? You're literally sitting there and confirming that every one of you is out your mind, right? Which I now have proof of. I have proof. Drug testing is evil. Your employer has no right to your bodily fluids. They've been doing it for years and years and years. It's morally wrong. They might as well put a brand on your ass. So everything At that point, your employer truly owns you. And it helps me in court. Understand that. So like, it's a guaranteed win for me all across the board. There's nothing you can do. I'm going to win. So you might as well just get used to it, right? So you all literally do it to yourself. The more that you run your mouth and the more you talk, because you never stop talking, right? You just keep on running your mouth. The more you run your mouth, the more you just do it. Indica is more relaxing. Sativa is more of an upbeat buzz. Sativa is a head buzz. Indica is a body buzz. I think I have that right. To yourself. Every time. That's why I let y'all talk. That's why you see me. I'm quiet. I ain't got nothing to say, bro. I don't care. Uh, turns out I did. I don't have a fear in this world, homie. I make money. I make bread. I'm a boss. And I happen to run the streets, right? All these people disrespected me online. And in, in reality, they're all a bunch of cowards. And I proved that. That's all that matters, right? And they can't move me and they can't speak on me. They can't do nothing to phase me. And they're mad. They just want reactions, right? Oh, that was the other excuse. Oh, well, it's all done for a reaction. Yeah, courts don't care. It's not all done for a reaction, just like you're playing with the numbers right now. Doing it for a reaction doesn't justify and mean that it's not illegal. There's plenty of criminals who have done things, I'm sure, for reactions out of people. However, they commit the highest crimes there is. Most narcissists end up committing the highest felonies in the, in the system. You're the most dangerous group of people that exists on the planet. What are you talking about? It's trying to make a... Wow, the most dangerous group of people on the planet? I thought we didn't bother you. Apparently, that's not the case at all. And we have another arrival to the show. Will you please welcome nothing, absolutely nothing but silicone? A uh, uh, corny, you know what excuse 
is not going to be sufficient and hold up in court. That's right. Stay mad and play with my numbers. Right. Because you're not doing anything. Yeah. You lash out, narky. Keep getting mad and lash out, narky, and show you that you're powerless. You're not controlling anyone. You're not doing a thing. And playing with the numbers only makes me smile. You're only helping me. Who cares? You do. And that's it. So like I said, these people weird, bro. This whole platform, bro, they think they running something and controlling something. All these corporations are corrupt, right? Just like just like you saw Lyft stole money from me recently. That's all part of the targeting. <laughs> all these corporations are all in it together. Understand that. Yes. And I'm standing up 100% and I'm suing every single one of you and filing a lawsuit. Now what? What now? Right? So don't, so don't get online talking about where, where, where you're sitting there with your fake cussing, like you're angry, your fake outrage and whatever behind a computer because you was a coward, right? And and don't act like you, you told this other individual, well, uh, you got the right, blah, blah, man, miss me with all that, bro. Miss me with all that, bro. But, you know, people who who, who are nerds and, and, and hide behind computers and are cowards, they can't talk like that. Such as so you. You don't get to talk like that. That's number one. Get that right. So I'm fully addressing you. Right. Not only am I addressing you, but I'm letting you know that I literally own you. And now you just signed over your freedom. Now you're going to go to prison. You're not very smart, bro. You should learn how to talk. If you had a gift with talking, you'd be in my position. OK. OK, pumpkin. OK. So, uh, yeah. Who's really the star on this platform? Yeah. Yes, there are very, very few issues when it comes to marijuana, but paranoia, certainly one. Um, make some people anxious, anxious being related to paranoia. Now, everything is not for everybody. Obviously, I can't drink. It turns me into somebody I'm not. I know a lot of people that drink, and they're perfectly fine. It's just you learn after a while what you can do and what you can't do. And if you don't, you die. Yeah. Who really get views? Yeah. Who really make money? Yeah. And who's getting their karma? All of you. And who's laughing at you? Me. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And I make I make tons of money. Let's just say it straight up what it is. I get bread, nigga. So y'all can all sit there and worry and stress and hate on me, whatever. I don't care, bro. I don't, I don't care at all, bro. I have no fear. I go out and I get it. I, get, I don't have to go out and get nothing. I attract everything. That's what y'all don't get. I'm a divine. You go out and get it. You attract everything. You mean like UTIs, right? 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 Feminine, homie. Look it up. You don't believe in spirituality? What do you mean? It's all over you all day. Ah, yes, memories. I was 13 the first time I got high, too. But the first time I got high, I didn't get high at all. Nothing happened. Everybody around me was all glassy-eyed. And I was like, I waited for this? I waited for this. Well, a couple days later, I'll never forget it, in a junior high school parking lot at about 10.30 in the morning, my brother's girlfriend's brother whipped out another joint. I took one hit, and all of a sudden, I understood. Y'all losing. The, the ancestors is 100% riding and real. What are you talking about, nigga? That's what I thought. So, like I said, just that's about it, man. That's all I have to say, bro. I'm not mad. I think everything is, is perfect in the way it's supposed to be, and y'all can just keep on incriminating yourself. One, now meet me on my other channel. And meet him on his Easy. other channel. Well, we're not necessarily going to do that, but we are going to watch another video right here on Negative 43 TV. That was, of course, allow me to chime in on this wonderful topic at Cursari, bruh. So let's see what I pull up next here. Oh, it's going to be so, so magical. Um... I'm nah, fuck the nah, I'm not gonna watch the tone. We're not going to watch the tone space one from last night. I don't think. Uh let me see here. Something of an appropriate. Okay, let me see here. We are going to watch I'm the Man. All readings are true. Divine downloads right now on negative 43 TV. Divine downloads. It's a new concept to me. It's going to be a new concept to you too. So let me get this thing going. Ah, uh, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see if he holds on. Yes, indeed. Please welcome the circle of infinite entertainment. You know you're being like bored to tears. With, with, his, with his weird engine. Um, so, like I said, y'all are all soft. 
you're not about this life. Y'all don't know how to adapt. You don't know how to walk the walk. Oh, dude, I am so not about your life. I am so not about your life. It's the only accurate thing that I've heard you say so far. And I've been on the air for 54 minutes and 40 seconds. Oh, I don't just talk the talk. I walk the walk, nigga. Okay? Trust me, there is nothing similar between us. There is no patience involved. That's number one. Number two, I don't tolerate disrespect at all. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, look at your screen. That's a comment I simply did not leave up long enough. It's tattooed on me for a reason. It's all real. All right? Number three, I done told y'all I've been going through something that's insane. Okay? Every day for the past, I don't know how many months, years. I don't know what one is all about either, but you could bet he nicked it from someone. Years, I haven't He's never had an original thought in his life even been able to breathe and i think i'm finally figuring out how to heal from this yes all right i've been trying everything under the sun i could think of i think i finally figured out how to do it so dz what you're telling me is tyree's a slut and not a whore right so keep that in mind number one that if i'm able to heal it considering that it was blocking my lung this entire time well i'm glad somebody's having good luck with pharmacies today god knows i'm not okay and my diaphragm and basically yeah so you're, if i'm able to heal from your diaphragm you're a male you don't need a diaphragm oh wait that that's not what you're talking about that nah. unless you can use one in your ass of course i'm gonna remind you a lot of the old me because my lung function will be coming back, right? So y'all think you gangsta, but this entire time I've been operating, right, for what, years now without any air, basically. Yeah, y'all ain't gangsta. So miss me with it. Miss me with your acting. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear anything y'all got to say. Like I said, you got people so pathetic on this network that, that they're still is this hold on ah the dreaded hold on how long does it last does it last 10 seconds ah, there we go literally online right why do y'all think you're doing something or think you bother anyone i'm just gonna ask you well <laughs> judging by the last video we do it because it works like, I'm going to ask again, why do you all go out your way that I do everything I do and y'all got to go over there and type when I'm not reading it? <laughs> well, this is an interesting conversation, is it not? Yeah, that that's pretty much how that one breaks down. <laughs> See what I'm saying? You just got people who they have nothing going for them, man. They got nothing better to do. So they on YouTube type of nonsense to themselves. <laughs> I had a quote from the Phil Hendry show many years ago, and I've I've just I remembered it remembered it all these years. A whore will sleep with anyone. A slut will sleep with anyone, but you. Literally, like I said, Tyree's life in a nutshell. It proves my point for me. Like I said, I, I don't have to explain these things, bro. I am not under anyone else's delusion. I picked a good one. It's <laughs> about building, doing great, doing amazing, flourishing, right? Excelling, winning, thriving, right? For real. Everything that you people talk about, right? Like Mike Saha and that you are doing. I'm who's thriving. Didn't succeed. Tied. What are you talking about? You can't talk as me because you're not me, little homie. See what I'm saying? You're not me, dog. Okay? When I accomplish something, it doesn't mean you go to YouTube and you post like you're me. That's weird. Right? You don't bother anyone. You don't aggravate anyone. Y'all are in your own cycles. Okay? 
Uh, while I have a, a good number of people here, there won't be a Saturday Madness this week. I will be out of town for the holiday weekend, and I I didn't work on anything. I think the next edits that I'm going to do will just be editing out N-words and personal attacks and just getting down to the subject for a while because those truth edits are great. I love to do them, but oh my God, is it time-consuming? You're 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 literally manic and unhinged, okay? Meaning that you're 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 completely like out of your mind. We don't got time for that, bro. If you want to be on this platform, let's say it again. Makes sense, man. All your channels are getting flagged. Yes. Yep. Y'all are all gonna leave. And I might as well make another announcement while I have a good number of people here. I have made the decision to write another wrestling match. Yes, indeed, I have. It's going to be, what I can tell you right now, it's Tyree and Christina in a tag team match. I'm pretty sure I know what the setup is for the opponents. You'll just have to wait and see. I'm thinking, I am thinking Memorial Day. YouTube, right? Just like we asked, we do not have to tolerate mental illness. If you don't make sense, get off of this platform. That's it. Okay. Other than that, all your channels are going to continue taken down because you have no business being on this platform. This platform will be set completely back to the way it's supposed to be with sane people who make sense and are in their right mind who want to have solid, intelligent, real conversations. So you're leaving? This platform was never for any of the antics and the things you do. Nobody is under your delusion. We're wasting your time, bro. It's that simple. All you're doing is incriminating yourself. That's simple. You're not following me around the internet now. You're not, you're not talking to me. You're not able to. See what I'm saying? Nobody is following you around the internet. You are making yourself readily available. Nobody has to follow anything. If we're subscribed to you, it literally falls in our lap, shows up in our feed. No, nope. y'all have no access to me. I'm a celebrity. Remember that. So, like I said, I think it's funny, man, how they just incriminate themselves further. That's all they do. They know they go into prison, right? All over little old me, because I guess I'm that important, right? Hey, I love it, man. I do. I love it. Keep doing what you do. Okay. Now, like I said, I'm from New York. I'll keep doing what I do. It's fun. For real, I say it. Niggas ain't doing nothing about it because they can't. Right? I talk how I want. I do what I want. Right? Y'all ain't God. God is my creator. I sit at the right hand throne of God. God is on my side. Now, for those of you who may be newer here, this is a recent development. Typically, he says his creator is not God. Who's the devil? My creator is love. No, he's talking about God in relatively blunt terms now. And in my experience, it's a brand new bag, baby. Phoenix. Right, boy? Right? You see what the reading's talking about? What do you mean? There was just a reading talking about like <laughs> that my gangsta on a whole nother level. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're you're right about those snakes there, Joe Pack. Ah, yes. Yeah, you know I'm the meaning of gangster, literally. That's why my DNA, my my lineage, my people. All right, we invented gangster. We invented everything that you play and talk about. You invented shooting people in the back. I did a whole video about it. How you niggas going to tell me anything when everything that you talk is stolen from me and my family and my people? We who invented it? All them rappers with the, these names, these niggas with these names, they came from me and my lineage. Y'all is all paying homage. You Biden. You Biden, cuzzy. You niggas didn't invent rap. No, oh, my people invented rap. Nigga, look up State Cooley. Tex Ritter, nigga. What are you talking about? Y'all didn't invent nothing. <laughs> Sit there. Oh, you want to be this? <laughs> uh, uh, I just babble on and don't say something. 
I should have addressed the second part of that comment. I don't know. I, I don't know. He would be getting, well, let's say punched a lot. Um, 20, 30 years ago, I would have thought. Uh, he. I don't know. I don't know. He's begging for it, especially with what he talks about the cartel and his location literally on the border between the United States and Mexico. That's just stupid talk. I don't know how he's relatively gotten away with it. He's been beaten up a few times, but not nearly enough. I do talk about a computer. That's y'all. I don't know how he thinks it's it's cutting people when he's just being spasmodic. I I don't understand that. I am uh, no longer on PayPal, sis. Uh, let me go ahead and put up my oh-so-grifty banner. Yes, indeed. And any tips that I get are so, so appreciated. Unlike Tyree, who demands donations. Donations as if he's some kind of charity or something. And... <laughs> oh, for real. Man, just like he trolls on us. Man. <laughs> oh, for real. Oh, I love it. Now, I do remember two or three winters ago at this point, Sneed went completely dark for six weeks. He was not seen or heard from outside of, I believe, community post, which he couldn't help himself with. And he came back six weeks later, and his nose had a turn to the left that it simply didn't have before. So, yeah, I, I think he took six weeks off because somebody just beat his ass and he couldn't cam up. Yeah, that's the all, homie. But yet, I'm out here every day. I'm in the street every day. I'm doing my Batman thing when I want. Going on missions. Missions fulfilled, baby. We we we've had a success. Going on missions to the strip mall. We'll go with it. Shit. Real talk. I'm loving it. Everything working out to my benefit. I got mad blessings coming on the way. Like I told you, I run New York. Hey, you think I'm playing? I'm about to take all my music to New York. Yes, yeah, this Western mix with hip hop. What they wish that all these other people could do, all of them, all the sellouts want to copy me. It could never be me. They all look up to me. Beyonce, she looks up to me. Nicki Minaj looks up to me. Cardi B looks up to me. I'm royalty compared to niggas. I'll tell you straight up. None of the people you just mentioned have any clue who the fuck you are. That's what y'all y'all got the pecking order wrong. It's not them who's the star. It's me who's the star. They all look I'm the star with quality Wi-Fi. Yeah, like Elvis was a legend. I'm a legend. I'm a bigger legend than Elvis. Seriously, I've done a lot more than Elvis. All Elvis did was just sing, sing hooks. <laughs> That's all he did, just sing. I'm a huge Elvis fan. Um, fewer and fewer of us around. Um, nonetheless, you say something like that in front of the wrong person. That's like saying something about Hank Williams to the wrong person. There are people still out there that would just walk on you over that. Like he was talented, but he had a different he had a different kind of voice and twang, you know? Like we're similar, just like I'm similar to Hank Williams, but we a little different. What is uh what is uh vanilla ice doing now, like home restoration or something? I understand he's doing pretty well. He's not in music, obviously. You know, Johnny Cash, I got some songs that sound kind of similar to him. Uh what was the one I made? Oh yeah. Oh well, people do cut vanilla ice, and they may well have reason to. God knows it wasn't my kind of music, but 
He went to number one. Never take that from him. He he actually did it. He he didn't repeat it. Whole bunch of people don't repeat it, but by God, he got it done once. Like him or hate him. Blame me. There's half of my song. I'll be making too much music. And and big hats off to him. That's getting on with your life. A lot of people that would have been in his situation would have been completely bitter and all messed up on whatever. And he said, okay, it, it's over. Let me take the money I made and do something with it. <laughs> when you blame me, I just can't seem to shake it. See, what is the other lyrics? I don't know, but I know that that song sounded like Johnny Cash. And you don't understand, I can redo all these songs. I still got to talk. My second favorite song of all time is a one-hit wonder song, Come and Get Your Love, is an absolutely perfect song. Redbone was the shit. With Van Zugel about what they did with that website that was illegal. And yes, that'll be another lawsuit. Uh, it even says in the readings, they see a bunch of... Oh, what the hell? Might as well tell you my favorite song of all time, even though you don't care. Wichita Lineman by Glenn Campbell. It is an absolutely flawless song. It will be played forever. It's it's not country. It's not really pop. It exists in its own place, and it's it's perfect. And I need you more than want you, and I want you for all time. God, what a wine. I'm, I'm getting goosebumps now. Yeah. And I mean, I don't know why y'all think you're doing something. You know, music's no big deal, man. I can recreate music. I mean, that's, that's nothing. I don't worry about that. Just like I don't worry about copyright or none of that because nobody can be me. And Hanson still plays, and they've been running as fast as they can from that song since the day it was released. Kudos to them. You can't, you can't do anything with my music. It's still illegal. Because I made it, homie. I don't understand how it works. I don't care about your little fake nuances. Y'all just say and do whatever you want. Anyway, you figure you're going to try to worm your way out of it and not make any sense. Back to the point. I will be Batman in New York. It will be a big deal. And that's the future that I... Uh, they are. They're still around. Yes, they are. Envision. And I'm not going to let anything... Not all the time, just from time to time. Thing stop There's me. a lot of money to be made out there on the oldies doors. From creating this vision. I don't really care. I really don't care about any anything here. Y'all don't get it. I don't care about anything here. I, I, you don't know what I'm talking about. You don't know me. Like, it is what it is, man. I, I've got all my enemies in the perfect position. They lose them. Okay. You don't you don't take someone like me, you you don't you don't you don't do that. You don't you don't take like someone like me and get online and act like you're disrespecting me. You just don't do that. Like I said, this is speaking of coming to New York. Did you ever get together with Tricky? My game we're playing. I'm in control. So like I said, I'm not biting my tongue. I don't. I'm here for me. Y'all don't got to listen to my program. If you're here committing a felony, that's on you, homie. Have fun with that. Right. If I tell you not to watch me, I mean don't watch me. If I say be quiet, mm, yeah, that means be quiet. Nobody talks back to me, cuz he. If I. Right? And that's all. If I tell you not to watch me, don't watch me. That, that's just something that should never be said by anybody streaming on YouTube. The whole point of this is to get people to watch you that like you, but that's never going to happen with you. So your audience is what it is, what you know it is, 100% trolls. All it is, man, it's just basic respect that y'all don't have an option to show. You have to show it to me, okay? So like I said, we don't respect cowardice. We don't respect cowardice. I don't think that's a matter of accent. I think he's just... That's stupid, and that that's a shame. That would have that would have been epic had you linked up with uh, Trekkie. It looked like he was living pretty darn well while he was in town. Looks like somebody's got a really, really good job. 
And here's Crazy Horse. He's joining us on his lunchtime. Turn it up real loud. Let the whole room hear it. Oh. Well, maybe not that. I, so like I said, people think I bought their, they bother me. How? Since when? Your bothers I'm anything, but y'all bad. Right? Oh, boy. How bothered as it gets. Like I said, y'all make everything impossible. You try to make everything as hard as possible. Literally impossible. That's all they've done every day. Does anybody know if he was in New York on business or on vacation? Not that it matters. Try to make everything impossible somehow. But then again, if you're flying from London to New York on business, you're pretty hot shit. I still continue to find a way. Isn't that amazing? Like, dude, I'm a real nigga. It's totally different with me. It's a whole different ball game. Okay? I that's everyone I don't oh no people look at me funny that's the type and what a vacation it was from anything I saw oh man that that's living good and the video he did with the Illuminati symbol I I almost fell out of my chair the nigga I am I'm an alpha male for real I'm a sigma alpha the rarest form right that means like I'm a gorilla basically why would I put up yeah the plaza is pretty much the uh the peak of the whole thing is it not with any disrespect from from anyone right why would I do that if I'm the king in the animal animal kingdom what ask yourself that question what I'm the king of the animal kingdom I'm the king of the animal kingdom. That is a brand new one on me. It absolutely is. King of the animal kingdom. Yet he's afraid of all of them. Every one of them. And Dutchie, I was just getting ready to mention mosquitoes. <laughs> Only I'm the king of the human kingdom and the animal kingdom. Why would I tolerate disrespect? Never. I don't care what your little fake rules are. I don't care about your whining and complaining, right? I don't succumb to that. I don't succumb to weakness. I don't answer to weakness. I don't answer to nobody. I'm strength and resilience in its purest form, and I'm everything I'm supposed to be. I can do no wrong because every action I do out of love and without fear is correct, right? Again, my movement will be in New York. I'll take over every block in New York with ease right all over again like i told you i was in albany running niggas off corners same thing in atlanta backing you niggas down you've never been in albany new york ever 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 ever, ever. never all in all the trenches and the real hoods pulling up to the gas stations by myself right by myself <laughs> it's official if you pull up in a gas station by yourself you too are a badass Niggas funny, homie. I'll go, we'll go back to Atlanta, too, and take that over real quick. Real talk. I, I don't know if the judge that I had, I was telling off in person over there, I was the only one who stood up stood up to him and said the truth to their face. Uh, let me backtrack here just a minute. He's never going to leave Brownsville, Texas, because he cannot be Batman anywhere else but in Brownsville, Texas. It's the only place that he can do this. It, it is. He tries this anyplace else. He's definitely going to be accosted, and it boggles me that he hasn't been, apparently, yet in Brownsville. And I don't know if the judge I stood up to, I don't know if that's the one that might be on trial right now that's getting all her damn car. Hell, that might be her. Might have been the same corrupt judge. Uh, whoever she is, she getting her karma. I'll tell you right now, any judge in Atlanta is corrupt. That's just common sense. They, they, I, that's what is so ridiculous. All these people, they want to judge you because, yeah, because none of them are grown. They all grown adults, but they not really grown. You know, that's all y'all do. Y'all just kiss up to each other and create your little, your little, your. Little He's talking about us right now. He most certainly is. Little society and 
little connections with each other. And then, oh, we don't like him because he's a man and he stands on his own. We don't like you for myriad reasons that aren't worth going into right now because everybody here knows what they are. Why repeat myself? Yeah, it's called being an adult. Why don't you try it sometime? It's kind of a requirement, right? You're all grown adults. Why don't you act like one? Why? Right? That is the thing that boggles me. Uh, has anybody here ever heard him talk about a police encounter in Brownsville from like the past summer? Um, is anybody, if, if I'm a policeman and I see a guy wearing a Batman mask and a cape and wearing what appears to be a bulletproof vest, I'm going to find out what up, as you kids say. I didn't ask you for your opinion, right? Well, damn sure don't volunteer it. We ain't hearing that. We gangsters over here. We, we don't let people just talk out of line to us. Yeah, they, they have to know who he is. A whole lot of people in Brownsville have to know who he is. And it perhaps it's a reason that he hasn't gotten a job yet. I, it seems to me that all of this on public display here on YouTube would make me as a employer say, we'll give you a call. Thank you for applying. Nigga, y'all are the ones who put up with that. See, you trying to project. We ain't got no time for that. We don't even listen to projection. Niggas can't talk easy to me. Niggas can't project upon me. I'm a gangster. Nope. We don't tolerate that at all. <laughs> he just said they can't talk reason to him. Well, I'll just be dogged. That will never even come into my ear. I will never hear it. Nothing can get into your ear because of the wax buildup. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Dr. Computer Shop, a true legend of the game. I'm a gangster. See, that's what y'all don't get is I'm about my respect, homie. Little homie at that. Y'all little homies. Not even. you know, nobodies. Right? Yeah, like I said, I'll be coming to New York. We taking over the whole thing. I'm going to be in the street, nigga. And all these people you see on YouTube that are based in New York. Sis is going to be waiting on you. Yes, she is. That's Frost, for those of you who don't know. I call her sis, and I I wondered about why I did that, and I, I think I figured it out. It's what my late father used to refer to my wife as. Hey, sis, how you doing? I, I think that's where the uh, seed of that came from, so it's it's kind of an honorific. They're going to run scared and run it high. They ain't coming nowhere near me. I guarantee it. All them fools that got on here and said my name, I'm going to tell them all exactly where I'm at all the time, right? Not exactly, because we know what they do. They're some cowards, right? No, they'll just try to cause disruption, right? Phone calls, same coward stuff. Fact is, I'm going to be in every borough. I'm gonna the fact is, you're going to be in Brownsville, Texas, which is exactly where we want you because again your show is not movable please welcome griker it's gonna be easy to find in new york niggas ain't gonna say nothing to me there was a lot i can do that man my fame is on another level nigga fame wealth riches money cash what are you talking you're absolutely right red screen please look at your screen uh that would that would be wonderful content what are you about i'm i'm doing what wrong what mistake have I made? I'm doing everything right, little homie. Y'all better catch up. 20 in the box, monetize channel, monetize program, monetize radio show. Been doing radio for over 15, 20 years, right? Been targeted by the government this entire time. Still here ticking. I take a lick and I keep on ticking, nigga. Right? I survived being hit by a truck full. Wait a minute. You you don't really take licking so much as you give them. Come on now. Speed, I'm still right here. What you talking about? So I'm being burnt through my stomach and abdomen. I'm still right here, nigga. Y'all can't be serious, man. <laughs> I'm still standing here screaming, Bing! the free world. <laughs> you, you feel me? Y'all can't be serious, homie. I'm the one who done been through everything. All these people targeted me. All of them. All of them got together in a conspiracy. Well, guess what? That's prison time. Kind of like Nature Boy got that boy gone. <laughs> None of this is prison time. Please take some of my videos to a lawyer of your choice and, and watch him piss his pants laughing. Uh, bye, Nature Boy. Uh, enjoy life in prison.
just like the rest of them are going to. Joe Pack's back. You missed too much, but that's okay because it's going to be here forever. Do yeah. All y'all charge is going to be life in prison. Guarantee it. All y'all who keep getting on this network trying to type like you're talking to me, life in prison. Guarantee it. I'm I'm pretty much positive. That's that's the charge, because it's it's too much stuff that you've done and you've said and done too much. Y'all are slow, homie. All because oh, I'm jealous. Yeah, and that equates to a life sentence. It does <laughs> actually. The actions that you've taken. Yeah. I mean, come on, bro. Like, be serious about what you're trying to do. We all see it. It's clear as day. <laughs> Right? I have all the evidence. Life in prison for teasing me. My God, what what a weeping willow. I'm not even sure that's an insult, but it's what I'm going with. Good luck. Y'all going to prison. So, yeah, like I said, me, I'm free. I'm good. I'm not intimidated. I'm not scared of nothing. I do what I want to do. Definitely not scared of you, Freemasons. Yeah, a lot of people don't believe that Tyree is real. I've told a few people about it. A couple of people that I thought would really get into it because of the uh, the outlaw humor that goes on here, but couldn't even tolerate any of the stuff done with it. Just They just don't get it. And you cowards, not scared of anyone. All you people are nobody. All of them, honestly, they're all nobodies. They're none of them are somebody. They're all nobodies. Ain't nobody rich. And please miss me with this this fake talk of oh people have money, and there ain't nobody rich out here, bro. This is the valley, homie. Ain't nobody in the valley ever seen anywhere near the money I have. I run the valley. That's just the actual truth. And then the truth comes out because you can see it by reality of what's going on. Like I said, no. That's not reality, right? We can see it by the reality of what's going on. Well, let's break this down, shall we? At this time, he's been reduced to riding a bicycle in Brownsville with his getup after dark, streaming just a little bit, usually just making shorts, and then he goes back to squat at his mom's house. I'm not seeing the luxury of this whole thing. That's why y'all don't pay your bills. You behind on everything yeah because niggas don't have money they just tell you whatever you want to hear and y'all believe it and repeat it yeah it's called being simple and being cheap but as far as actual well nobody has any money you're absolutely right dz and i do my best to irritate it every time i'm on negative 43 tv they live off the government what do you think these people do you think these people go hard or work hard bro i've worked my entire life i worked harder than anybody bro Right, right now I work for YouTube, right? I really don't work for anyone, I work for myself. I'm my own boss. None of these people are rich. I'm telling you straight up, none of these people got any money. Why do you think they all mad all the time, right? You people come on here, you say things that make no sense. You're who's mad. You're mad at all this money, right? Like I said, just like you was in denial of that seven grand I made, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm? Y'all keep backing down. I don't understand what you're telling me. You go online and you project. Right. And we don't let anything slide and we address everyone and everything. So you're not bothering me. That's my job to address it. You're being super petty. You're just sitting there like, yeah, yeah, I'm bothering. No, you're not. He has been using the word petty an awful lot lately. He's always used it. But for some reason, He's he's really got it into his bullet belt right now. It's all the time. Not bothering me. Let's have a conversation, just not with you. See what I'm saying? All you're trying to do is irritate some, right? Because you ain't got nothing better going for yourself. Y'all ain't got nothing better to do. Y'all ain't never built nothing or been about nothing, <laughs> right? That's the real truth. Oh yeah. And I love it quite <laughs> honestly. I absolutely love it personally. Like. Real talk. Y'all are so weird, so petty. And this is that. And this is that. And this is that. I'm someone. No, actually, you're not. You just got put in a fake position in a fake slot um, because of your race. That's why. Mm -hmm. And anything I got to say, I say to all y'all's faces, please, please don't act. Please stop acting like you run something or you intimidate someone or you're in control of anything over here. You're not. This is a white movement has nothing to do with you yeah mm -hmm. no uh, it's it's a, it's been about race with all these people cool it's definitely about that now right 
I'm going to make sure I make it about that, actually, because that's the issue. It's been the issue since day one, because they're the one with a problem and the ones who are discriminated, right? Like, uh, you can tell yourself whatever you want. Like I said, all seeing eye doesn't see everything. I'm living proof of that. And like I said, all this land is mine, and that's a fact, and there's nothing you can do about it or to change it. You can say whatever you want. You can run your mouth. I mean, you know, it, it's only going to just push the issue further and further, which is just going to prove my point more and more and more because, like I said, this is all my land. So, honestly, I'll do whatever the hell I want on my land. Yeah. I'm not asking you permission. Okay. So, that's number one. Number two, um, I don't think y'all understand the meaning of what I've been through and the meaning of person. Yes, he certainly does, RTS. What with the clap talking and everything. So, right. Like I said, it should be very clear what my agenda is at this point. Mm -hmm. I'm a win. I'm a win. I'm a win and I'm going to get mine in front of all y'all and I'm going to rub it in your face nonstop because I can. Right? So, like I said, I'm a mean battle. I mean, I'm a bad, bad to the bone. Right? Oh, trust me, homie. I'm just getting started. I'm loving it. I can't wait. I can't That's another one. I'm just getting started. Yeah, it's it's just about joked out. I mean, how many cracks can you make on that? He's just getting started. Ever since I've been on Tyree Sneed, ever since I've been in Sneedville, and that's five years, five and a half years, something like that. He's just getting started. That's the way he excuses his failures. Can't wait, man. I can't wait, bro. <laughs> you know why I can't wait? You know why? Hold no. On. You know why? Because I'm vengeance. That's why. That's why I can't wait. <laughs> Real talk. Shit. That's why I can't wait. I can't wait. Because I'm vengeance. Real talk. Ain't nothing to act about it. Right? Like, break down the word what it means. Nah, bro. All you people tried to tried to mistreat me. Come at me some way, act like you was somebody, like, nah, bro, it's all good, man, you know, you, it's common sense, bro, like, you gotta watch how you talk to people, you gotta watch who you are, right, real talk, I'm gonna let all y'all know, correct, nah, like, some people you don't disrespect, like, some people you gotta be real careful about how you talk to, I happen to be one of those people. You're not, everybody here knows it, why even say it? Mm hmm yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, no. I don't do no talking, nigga, and I'm not playing about nothing. All right? It's my turn now. It's my turn, and it's that simple, man. Ain't nothing going to stop my fury. Nothing. I'm Batman, and I'm here to... Yeah, Christina had him worked into a really good position again, and then blew it. I, I think she's sick again. Another brain surgery or or something along that line... Whoever Christina is would not make it as a comedy writer, ever. Take all this over and take back what's mine, and I've already done it. And in your face, and all I'm doing is rubbing it in every day. I mean, the whole sick thing is so, so effing played out. And I'll do whatever the hell I want, and I'll talk any way I want, partner. You got that? And anything I got to say, I say to anybody's face. How about that? How about I'm a grown man, right? Now, people don't play with me. People don't disrespect me. That's reality. Y'all mad at reality on YouTube. <laughs> We're playing with you and disrespecting you right now on Negative 43 TV. I'm Rich Baritone. But I owe you nothing. I'm not going to act no way for you. Now, y'all y'all going to get in line when I come around. Y'all going to act the way I tell you to act. You're going to do what I say. Just like usual, right? Like always. You can't get on a computer and then act like you're disobeying. No, you don't understand. If I say be quiet, people be quiet. Always. I, I, I'm the master of hardball. I don't let nobody win. And well, yeah, I mean, that that is funny that somebody that somebody exists that is that naive. Not, but the, had him in a perfect, perfect position. The only way this can end is for dude to cam up and swing his junk. Nothing. So, I mean, it is... On panel, of course. I didn't mean in person. But it is, bro. That's not a character flaw. That's the way I'm supposed to be. 
it's you all who have the character flaws getting on a computer trying to pretend. Right, but you don't keep that same energy in reality. Y'all ain't built like that. <laughs> so you're not being real. That's a hell of an idea. A little town 20 miles southwest of Topeka. So who cares? See what I'm saying? That's my, my whole point. No, bro. If I say quit doing something, it just means quit doing something. Right? Like, all due respect, you're behind a computer. You're pretending. I don't do pretending. I'm against it. Right? Question is, has anybody disrespected me to my face? No. Nope. nope. People can pretend all they want, bro. It's about respect, man. Your community and your society does not operate based off respect. And then you wonder why none of y'all doing nothing. Ain't nobody doing nothing in the valley. I'm going to tell you all the truth nonstop. One would suspect that by this time he would know that Christina isn't real. But apparently he also has something called, uh, God, what is it? Oppositional defiance disorder. It's actually a thing. Right. And I would. So, no, he would he would never admit it. Never admit it. Even if he does know, which he. I don't think he does. I think he's that obtuse, that stupid. Love for somebody to stop me and silence me because they can't. Because I happen to be the biggest, baddest boss that you've seen thus far and that you ever will. Right. That's my whole point. You don't seem to get it. Ain't nobody going to do nothing with me or tell me nothing. I'm in charge, right? I'm in charge. I'm not walking on eggshells with my words and nothing. I'm free. I get to do what I want and say what I want to feel, right? People mad because I'm doing well. People mad because my spirit attracts people. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me because I shine and I'm amazing. Don't be mad at me because all the women want me and they don't want y'all. Don't be mad, right? Like I said, Y'all been weird, y'all been whack, y'all been living on some kind of and some kind of fantasy bill that doesn't exist. Hold up. Thank you for the tip. Whoever you were, I'm not obviously going to use your real name. Thank you so much. Okay, he said, okay, hold up. These are the kind of things me, that oh, other reality, is. right? And reality says that I'm the boss, right? So, I mean, it's clear as day, man. I don't care how y'all feel, like I said, because again, y'all vastly underestimate me and you underestimate what I'm saying and what I'm talking about. You gotta understand, man, all these people live off the government. All these people got put in this position because of their race. He's not entirely wrong for the most part. I live off the government in that I'm on social security. I am on disability, but that's totally okay because I worked for 36 years to pay for it. Right. And I got put in the position I'm in because of my race, however, I wore myself into a good position when I was given nothing and was held back every single time that I tried to get up. You were given everything. Let me repeat that, given everything. You were born with that silver spoon in your mouth, and I'll just be damned if you didn't bend the motherfucker. We've all known that for eons, I'm telling you. Kicked while I was down the whole nine yards. What are you talking about? Like, no, bro. I've had to deal with real, real life. Okay, if Tyree were to go live, you all can keep your eyes open for me. If he does go live... We'll go ahead and switch over. Uh, we are going to be here for anywhere from another 20 minutes to another 45 minutes. I got to go pick some stuff up. Entire time, real problems. Right? These people didn't want nothing for me because I'm a man. They didn't. They wanted me to have nothing. So then. You're absolutely right. The dead air pauses are a definite hazard of live streaming him. And if he does go live, we'll go over about 20 minutes after the fact for just that reason. If you live stream Tyree in time, if you're totally caught up with him, you're at his mercy when he does the long pause thing. And at some point, you got to get smart and realize, okay, well, that, that, if that's what it's about, and we're going to play that pity game, then cool, I'm going to show you all that I, I deserve everything, and I'm going to get everything that I deserve. And that's why success is the best revenge of you understand? But hey, I mean, over here, we get both. I get my revenge and vengeance in every way, every time I'm a speed, bro. Every time. 
<laughs> what are you talking about? I've gotten my, my vengeance my entire life. You're not giving vengeance. You're certainly receiving it. Look around you. So if you're going to talk to me, acknowledge who I am. Again, we, we know I have a vast history, bro, of not tolerating disrespect. Everybody knows about me and how I get down. They know my reputation. They know who I am, right? No, I'm not out of line. You're out of line. And you're going to listen. You're going to do what I say. Yeah, there are things that I can do here on StreamYard. I could punch up another video, much like a, much like a television station going back to a fill-in show during a rain delay on a baseball game. All of you. Yeah, all of you. Yeah. So what are you talking about? No, I'm in charge. I'm in charge. I run all this here. Yep, not you. That's your problem. Y'all ain't used to no man. That's why y'all don't like men, because that's why y'all tried to tried to do all this warring on man, because, right, because the man ain't going to put up with your nonsense. And uh, the line moves for nobody. It's just that simple. Why are you speaking about what men would do, think, or say, since you're not one? Once I see what it is and I understand the game, it is what it is, man. I'm I'm immovable. I'm the juggernaut, but I'm Batman, right? Like I said, I'm gonna be up in New York. We're gonna be on every block in all the hoods, right? Talking to all these niggas. And like I said, I'm gonna tell you something right now, man. We don't get on camera and try to earn strike. <laughs> if you got in the hood in New York, you would do the same thing that I would do. Shit your pants. Like, in other words, let me explain it to you crystal clear, right? When I'm in New York, and this goes for anywhere I'm at, when when niggas disrespect me, right, if they disrespect me or they think they can talk any way to me or whatever, or act some kind of way about me, you know how all y'all, like, think, like, oh, yeah, this is IP2, and people just do whatever. Yeah, and they also get charges for that. And I see y'all getting a lot of charges all the time. Like I thought I heard it. There's there's quite a bit going on on my end. And at times, I'm not really listening to him so much as trying to run the show behind the scenes. Vegan patriot. Very silly person. Has horrible taste in men. And she's just destroying everything for herself. I mean, she's just getting charges right and left. And those are real charges. You got to do real time behind that. You know, now some of you, you may just get away with it somewhat and have to pay fines or something but it, it, i'm not in that position so my point is no when, when niggas disrespect me like if i'm up in new york and a nigga starts acting, all right tyree is live at this time he went live at 2 37 p.m my time which is like five minutes ago so we'll go we'll let him go about 15 minutes and We'll end this stream with a little live peek on just what's running through his rotted mind today. Acting crazy, talking crazy around. I'm turning the camera off, nigga. <laughs> I'm not doing nothing on camera. I'm not talking, nothing. We turn the camera off. You feel me? So, I mean. Yeah, we feel you. He, he had said this the first time I heard him say it was about a month ago that if anything pops off, he's going to kill the mic and he's going to kill the camera because he doesn't want to be seen running and or getting his ass whooped. It is what it is, bro. Yeah, it is your you pussy. Know what I mean? Like I'm telling you who I am, bro. Everybody knows. Hold up. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, don't go silent on me now. God, suck Oh, let's see what the deal is here. This thing supposedly has five more minutes. Is this one of those things where he just quit early? Let me... Oh, there he is. For those of you who may be newer here, every time he starts doing this, he's feeling highly stressed. <laughs> So, yeah, the point is, if they disrespect me in New York or whatever they do, right? Well, it is what it is. All I do is turn off the camera. That's it. So, y'all know, like, know what's up, kind of, because you'll just see me. If you turn off the camera when you're about ready to throw down, as they say, you're passing up a prime opportunity to prove that everything you've been saying is true. But since it is it, and you a C U N T, you'll run.
turn off the camera. That's why I go mute sometimes when I'm Batman. Like I just be muting it. Like, nah. There was there was a fool talking weird stuff, talking weird the other day. I didn't realize at the end. I figured it out. Like he was just saying like he was looking for his wallet or something, but he was acting mad weird, and he was probably like drunk. And I wasn't putting up with none of it. No, I, I try you, you niggas, right to your face. You got away from him as quickly as you could. I mean, stay trying, you niggas. You know what I mean? When he backed down, he knew what it is. He know what's good, right? Yeah. Y'all know who run the street, bro? It's not fake, man. I don't care who you are. I don't care what culture you are. I don't take nothing off of nobody. I'm really dirty, hairy. So, like I said, we know who's tough, right? We don't got to pretend. Man, that's getting irritating as it gets. Yeah. Irritating. Yeah, we know who's tough, right? Oh, that's that's clear as day, right? We know who, who who's who's actually successful, right? We know who getting this money. We know who in charge, right? We know who the boss. I don't care what nobody says. I answer to no one. I do what I want to do. I'm a gangster. People aren't used to gangsters, just like they told me in the past. You know what I mean? But no, don't think for one second that any of these people got money. I got money, meaning that I've had a better... I'd love to see him act tough in Glasgow. Apparently, that's never been advisable, like, ever. Run than all of them I've seen and spent more than they'll ever imagine. And when y'all supposedly get money, you claim you have digits you don't have. All y'all are just a bunch of liars, right? That's why... Back in the day when I was filthy rich with cash and everything and assets and equity and property, right? Just like I am now in equity, they were the same people warring on me trying to talk about, oh, well, oh, all that slick stuff, right, that you think matters. It doesn't mean anything, bro. So why are you acting like you're accomplishing something when you're not? You're just helping me more. You're just pushing me to advance. But yeah, they'd be like, oh, people with money don't talk about their money like Nah, quite the opposite. The people with money talk about it all more than anyone. Generally, the people with money don't talk about money because it's obvious. Because what else is there to talk about other than love and, and morals and what I talk about? I mean, yes, they do. Talking about it actu actualizes it and manifests it. I, in fact, it actually does more for you. So that's a lie. Feel me? So, like I said, I might do a show in a minute, right? Um, we could talk about everything together as one big happy team and happy family, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, All right now, give me a minute. Oh God! All right. So yeah, man, y'all stay mad, bro. Like I said, me and Christina are gonna be sitting on over. What is it now? I think it's like over two hundred and seventy-seven thousand dollars. <laughs> and seventy-seven thousand dollars on top of that. So that's the only thing I, I can talk about. We already discussed it, so that's the only thing I'm talking about. And it's a lot of money, bro. We, we're gonna be sitting on over a half a million to a million dollars. I can, I think, comfortably. So have fun hating, all right. And then she's gonna help me with everything. We're gonna fund the Batman thing and build everything together. It's more about us building a life together. The Batman thing is a hobby. Oh God, please don't blow it on the side my only focus is going to be christina the minute that she gets here so i'm focused on building a future and family with her and being happy so that's what i want truly i 100 percent value that over being batman any day so batman thing will be a hobby on the side all right we'll see if i come back in a minute all right one stay mad nigga <laughs> the batman thing will be a hobby on the side oh will it really Okay, let me see if the live he just finished, okay, it's there. We're going to go ahead and take a look at something that's so fresh, the steam is still rising off the pile of shit. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to check out all the facts always right here on Negative 43 TV. There's the magical click, and let's see what he gets up to. All right, what's up, people? You. So I haven't really gotten a chance to uh, look at the aftermath, right, of anything yet. 
but I will check it out in a minute. But um, like I said, man, don't believe everything you hear, man. You know, people talk a lot, man. People have been doing the same thing on YouTube for decades. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I own my own car lot. <laughs> I forgot to mention that to you, Nutty. Everyone knows you lost those cars. Everyone. We have proof. You can stop now. Right? Because, I mean, you don't own anything. Nothing. You don't own nothing. Like, no, bro. That's not reality. The reality is that you don't have any Bitcoin. The reality is that you go online and you make up extravagant false claims because you're a narcissist and you think that it's cute. And it's all projection all of the time on negative 43 TV. I mean, you're trying to overcompensate. Right. And then it's so crazy because like the, the craziest part is how you entertain like, like it's a wise idea or something. When like, it's, it's really not like, like genuinely it's, it just makes you look worse and worse and worse every single time, basically that you open your mouth. That is absolutely true, Joe Pack. It's a, a perfect example of the amusement park theory. You know, and then which posits that if you go to an amusement park, don't you own it? And nobody really wants anything to do with you, and you wonder why, right? It's been the same every single time, you know. So, no, that's just people who try to use narc perception and basically when all their lies are proven wrong or when they're completely exposed and they're vulnerable. They just reach for whatever they can grab. So that's what that is. That's to be expected, honestly. That's just pure desperation. That's pure desperation coming from Nutty, right? Because what else can he do? None of these, none of these niggas make any money. You know what I mean? So it's more about trying to make somebody feel something, you know? First of all, it'd be impossible to make me feel anything. I'm not a hater, but... It sounds like you're feeling something right now, as my grandmother used to say. He sounds forlorn. I mean, like I said, you wouldn't do it in the form and fashion that you're doing it in. Like, if you was really about something, at any point, we would know, you know? If you had anything we would know because you would never have stopped talking about it. So nah, bro, it is what it is, man. But I mean, keep committing crimes though. Cause that's all you're doing. I mean, lady nightmare six is here and wherever she is, it's morning television. Ah, yes. Live with Regis and Tyree. You know what I mean? Like you should probably stop committing crimes. Cause it's common sense that at some point you're going to get locked up for them. You know what I mean? Other than that, Christina, I love you. Um, I know you're going through a lot, but you're going to be okay. And uh, Always physical stuff. It's just so unimaginative. I don't know. Everything with Christina and I is 100% real, and he's all I care about. So, I mean, what is that? End of the day, I mean... It is what it is. It's going to be what it's going to be. You know what I mean? So my my only focus is Christina. But you're going to be okay, honey. <laughs> and you're going to be with me. And we're going to be happy. I promise. So. <laughs> I would think, sis, that Christina's got to be down to the stem at this point. What we need to push for. And and there it and, is. Uh, <laughs> and there it is. Just got the stem of the eyes now. Other than that, yeah, I don't know what to tell you all, man. Like, like I said, uh, I oh, think y'all are 
I don't, y'all don't make any sense. You know what I mean? This dude literally just got done saying that he, he's he's got no money this entire time. I mean, it's like I say, it's just people trying to fulfill, like, whatever their issue is online. Like, that's got nothing to do with me, man. You know, it's pretty common sense what kind of behavior that is. And exhibiting him and what he does and how he acts, you can kind of see that. So, I mean... What do you mean? Like I said... End of the day, it is what it is. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. So, you know, I don't know. I'm just worried about Christina. That's all I care about genuinely. Um, but yeah, you're going to be okay. Uh, I love you. Like, I just feel it. I know it. Um, but yeah, try to talk to me more, please, if you hear this. And yeah, I want you to feel better. Um, but yeah, I don't know, man. These These people on YouTube, like I said, y'all need to just come to the round table already, man. You know, no, I'm not any of these names you want to project. I'm very, like, busy. Like, I have things that are hard for me just because of common sense things, like geographically, my location. It's everything, different things. So, like I said, it makes basic things hard. That's about it. Like, I'm doing the best I can with it. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you or what y'all expect from me. Or, or want, want from me, you know what I mean? Pretty weird in all honesty, you know? But like I said, I mean, I mean when people oh, are trying to focus oh, oh, on you. Oh, oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. I coughed and forgot to turn it on, but it's part of the fun. You're on negative 43 TV. Oh, come on now already. Is that it? Is that the end of it? It could be. people well, are trying to focus oh, on you. There he goes. It's because they're unhappy. Feel me? So. Like I said, I love you more than anything, Christina. I think everything is going to work out. Um, I really do. Somehow, some way, I feel like it's going to work out. Um, yeah, I did. I almost made it through. This would have been two shows in a row with no muting. But like I said, the good thing for me is even though it is a screw up, it's become shtick. Not how long before Rich mutes himself? It's... I'm I'm actually kind of having fun with it because there's there's no reason to get pissed. I'm amongst friends and I'm not necessarily trying to make an impression on anyone other than a good one, of course. But yeah. Other than that, all y'all on here, y'all ain't doing nothing. That was the question. Do you want to come to Cashless Bane? Do you want to come have a conversation? try to negotiate something i mean that's what y'all should be doing like like i said i'm trying to get in the position where i can uh yeah i mean that that's true you have to have um a twist in your sense of humor to be able to find really anything funny about tyrese need at all i mean he says hilarious things but most normies wouldn't really see the humor in it they would just be disgusted broker and create deals record deals for people with like maybe yeah muting is just kind of the experience and since she brought it up always remember when you're watching frost 
or you're watching Shamrock and that guy, you're watching Negative 43 TV. Be within the music industry on top of what I'm doing at some point. So, I mean, it just is what it is. It all just depends, you know? I mean, I just think it's so weird how y'all shame being real and act like being fake is cool. Like, it's not cool to be fake, nutty. You know what I mean? That's why you got ran out of Chicago. Oh, yeah. That's why. That's why you're not a rapper. That's why you didn't make it. That's why you didn't succeed. And I did. I got a record deal coming to me. <laughs> I'm nice and comfortable. And now that I'm unmuted, I'll tell you the story I was telling when I was muted. Let me see if I... Yeah, okay. My, As you can see there, my wife loves to watch cleaning videos it's actually a hobby of hers it truly broke the mold when they made her i remember a christmas a few years ago i asked her what do you want for christmas and she said a vacuum cleaner she really did she said a vacuum cleaner a present that would get most men beaten with the traditional iron skillet is what she asked for a true jewel right around the corner nigga i told you all about these readings you can absolutely be a uk correspondent they're not fake from the generation i come from i mean this whole thing has been common for a great many years at this point but we take this for granted now this is an absolute miracle we have people from all over the world that come here and we've become we've become jaded to it um, I try not to become completely jaded to it because the internet is the advent of radio and television for my generation. Um, I'm post television. So this, this is the thing that has come along in my lifetime. About to offer me over seven figures. I'm telling you, I got money coming from every direction. I'm not even worried about that. That's not my concern. My concern is Christina. Oh, what the hell? Let me take a hit, too. I'm worried about Christina. Yeah. Who, who I actually... We all love you, too, Joe Pack. And this really is a family atmosphere. There's a total lack of drama amongst any of us. It's a place that we come, certainly a place that I come, to get away from pretty much everything and it's it's wonderful i i i say it a lot i owe a great debt to tyree's need i wouldn't know and love all of you wonderful people and when i say i love you i really do mean that it's it's all because of tyree's need it's i don't even know what to call it but it's a great side effect wonderful side effect actually love so, like I said, I don't know. Y'all need to get your priorities straight, man, and figure it out. Get yourself together. Like I said, you want to come talk to the Grand Poopa, all this rap stuff? You let me know. Be tired. Grand Poop Pa. I think that would look good on a coffee mug. Are you CEO dancing in the music videos? <laughs> Speaking of Rich Baritone Limited, I'll be hyping that again soon. I really need to go update that page. I sold a hoodie to Stu, I believe it was. So there's a there's a negative 43 TV hoodie in Australia. But because I didn't mark the price up because of inflation, I made 99 cents on it. <laughs> so apparently I need to go look at that, but I'll start hyping that again soon. <laughs> Grifty cocksucker. Come catch the paint. All right. And that's about it. So y'all can holler at me and let me know. And we'll go from. Everybody does. This is a family atmosphere. There because. Once you get to know it, you got to love it. I'll tell you one thing, man. Nobody knows who y'all are. And everybody knows who the Batman is. And I got real fame. All right. And that's the truth. So that's about it, man. Keep doing you. I'm going to keep doing me. All right. That's it. If you don't like me winning, I mean, too bad. You know where I come from? Doing is often slang term for 
having sexual relations. He needs to quit saying, I'm going to keep doing me because what I'm hearing is, I'm going to keep fucking myself over. That's exactly what I hear. So let me see. I have time for one more short one on this Thursday afternoon. At least it's Thursday afternoon where I am. So let me shop around here. Uh, oh, 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 okay. I know what I'm going to run. I've heard a lot of good things about this particular stream. Apparently, there were some real jewels in it. It's 41 minutes, 20 seconds long. So we'll probably be here till the top of next hour now. So this is Tyrese Need from four days ago. And I run New York. I've heard so much about this. Let's go ahead and give this a spin. I'll need to, yes, I will need to cue this properly. I've heard a little bit of it, not a, not enough to even talk about, though, so. I wonder, was this the one I was listening to when I went to the doctor yesterday? Anyway, don't listen to Tyrese Need when you know you're going to have a blood pressure test because your blood pressure is going to be slightly, slightly elevated. All right, I'm looking at the circle of infinite entertainment. All right, let's have a hand for him. The circle of infinite entertainment. That's right, you know you're being bored to tears when you see the circle of infinite entertainment. Okay, apparently we have this thing rolling now. Again, it's a matter of queuing for me at this point. Okay, we are under operation, so let's bump up and try. Oh, try. Ah, there he is again, torturing me as always. Right, there we go. Up, hey, it was perfect. How's everybody doing? Better than you are, and I was also thinking about putting the circle of infinite entertainment on a coffee mug. Inside jokes of plenty at Rich Baritone Limited. I, I actually tried to change the name of the store to Geens of Purgatory. Um, <laughs> it's it's a joke that's been running for a while, newbies, and they they wouldn't let me do it. Something about a Ned Gein reference. Okay, so, go, go. I continue to try my best to push forward, right? And fail. Despite everything I've been through and being against all odds, just everything that's happened to me. Like I said, I plan to take this movement to New York. A hundred percent. Oh, okay. doggone it. I clicked the so, wrong one. I don't know. I didn't want part two. I want part one. So let me drop the curtain here and go right back. Yes, indeed, Rich. You got to improvise now. It's got to come right off the top of your head. Oh, oh I mean. There we go. All right. I don't know what happened. I did click on the right one the first time. Ah, uh, the mysteries of an old computer with an old browser. Uh, so let me see where we're at here. Oh, baby, come to me. It's running. Let me find something that resembles dialogue. Oh, boy. Come on. I know there's insanity here. I just, I know it. A minute 55, nothing. 240. Right. Perfect. So, I'll be dogged. Next topic. Okay. So here's the chronology a little bit. What's going to be happening? Okay. Yes, sis, you, ch you should try it right now. First of all. Boy, my mouth's dry. I think it's funny how y'all try to fake talk, meaning you try to talk without acknowledging reality. First of all, I don't read your comments. Second of all, if you're blocked already and you're still commenting, okay, 
that would be mm, would be illegal, right? I mean, like I said, they should be able to control their comments better. Like, if you block an account, it should be blocked. So, I never see any of that. Don't worry, y'all can't talk to me. I don't read comments. Right? Because I don't live in anyone else, else's delusion. I live in reality. Right? I understand reality perfectly clear. I know exactly what I'm doing every day. I know that I'm winning. I know I'm making every right decision. Right? And that's it. And I'm about unity and bringing people together, right? As much as possible. You actually are accomplishing bringing people together. And it, it's still extremely ironic, but you're actually doing that. And you hate it because it's us. That's what I'm about, right? So, hold on. Ah, uh, the dreaded hold on. Yes. So, it, yeah. Oh, good, good. So one, you can continue to waste your time doing that, talking to yourself, whatever. I have no idea what you're saying because, again, I don't pay y'all no attention. I don't read comments. Okay? Comments doesn't mean that I answer to comments. It doesn't mean that you dictate reality. And that's the problem a lot of you don't seem to get. And speaking of being together, if you're not there, you ought, to, you ought to check into Discord. I wasn't there for the longest time. I'm there now, and I'm so glad that I am. Negasonic middle-aged dickhead is here, as well as International Stanley. You know him better as Nick. So if you aren't on Discord and you're interested, contact our Lady Frost. Uh, she'll, she'll get you going with that which is very disturbing and very really weird. It's just a YouTube comment section. It doesn't mean anything in reality. That's why all y'all do is run to YouTube because you're upset. Okay? Nobody's upset right now, Joey. It's actually a, a very, very good time. We're having a great show today. Even the muting was cool. Then you got the other reading and talking about the same individuals and how again their actions make no sense with whatever how they feel i don't care not interested that's all it just doesn't make any sense like i said i mean clearly it just shows and displays the same issue and the same problem that people right should really say how they feel bro right like, people shouldn't be afraid to stand up and say how they feel. That's just a personal thing. All right, number one, I don't know how people would think that they're running game on me, right? Or they're like, or there's like a psychological war going on. Like, bro, nobody's playing mind games with me, man. I'm not even focused on YouTube. I don't pay y'all no attention, okay? Um, the fact is that regardless of how this works out, I'm being blessed and I got tons of blessings coming and apparently tons of money and love, right? Right? So, and, and, and please put it together for Jerome Bigger and new love, right? So, like I said, I mean, everything is, is cool with Christina. She's just, she's just been like sick lately. She's going through a lot. You know what I mean? And I miss you and I love you. Other than that, like I said, I mean, y'all are just like all you all show how much you're worried, you know. And that's the thing that's so weird is it's like he is a broken record, but I've always described him as like a blues guitarist that only knows the pentatonic scale and the blues scale and plays the same fifty songs. But every time you hear those fifty songs. There's a possibility that he's going to do something within those two scales that you yourself may have never heard before. And that that's kind of what goes on here. We all know what he's going to say before he says it. The fun in this are the jewels that exist in that. Why don't y'all work something like finding edible corn and shit? 
well, not really. Bad analogy. Moving on. Free about yourself. You know? Like, you know, the readings tell me everything. I, I don't really care, bro. I mean, like, people can do what they want, man. They do what you do. I mean, it just goes to show. Hold up. It just goes to show, as usual. Yeah? That you got people. Right? Hold on. I am very glad to hear that negative. You look at your screen. He says, Rich, the lines came out great. Video will be out soon. What he's referring to is, I did some voice work for uh, for Nega and Griker, I believe. Um, I did a, a voiceover as Dr. Joey Shitstade. Yes, indeed, the uh, professor of forensic Sneediology at Sneedville Community College and a frequent contributor here on Negative 43 TV. The funny thing about Dr. Shitstain is he looks exactly like Rod Zerlade. Talk. Who are trying to like, live through me vicariously. Right? Y'all know what that means? Or are you too slow to understand? They're trying to live vicariously through me. Right? Meaning what? Me meaning what? Meaning that deep down inside, I want to be a squatting drifter. I, I don't think so. I don't think I want to be nearly as mentally ill as you are. I don't think I want my teeth to be nearly as bad as yours, at least the ones that I still have. There is nothing about you. Nothing whatsoever. And hey, look, it's Troll Team 6. We got the family together now. Meaning they're unhappy. I'm I'm pretty darned happy right now. Just got a little bit happier. Memphis Shea is here. Right. Like I said, reality don't work, right? So again, just it's it's all simple and easy, man. It's just a behavioral thing, and makes sense, right? At the end of the day, well, I don't really care. And y'all could just say the truth, right? Like that's why y'all are upset because you know I don't care, right? That's the actual truth. Y'all know that I don't care. You can't tell me anything. It's only 16 after 3, DZ, you're fine. Thanks, so like literally if it was up to them, they'd be on YouTube all day just typing nonsense. Typing things that aren't there. They, they don't have it. Nobody has anything they can tell me in the world because I don't even make mistakes. I'm literally like perfect. Right? Everything I do is just perfect move, perfect timing, shines. Everything I touch turns to gold, right? Like I said, God told me what it is. God told me he's real, straight up. I'll tell you straight up. God told me that I'm the chosen one, right? It is what it is. You know what I mean? I'll admit that I'm, I'm kind of trying to get away from wake and bake, which is wonderful. I think that's the most receptive part of the day, but... Uh, I'm trying to be a little bit more judicious, you know, again, for reasons of respiration, being almost 63 and everything, but there is nothing better than an excellent wake and bake. Like, God told me what it is, and that I'm going to blow up with my music, I'm going to blow, right? <laughs> You're going to blow? You blow already. King Midas in reverse. That was, wasn't that a song? And that we're going to do it together. Just like Graham Nash or something? Tell you the truth. That's what God told me. Right? So, I mean. <laughs> so am I, DZ. I worked all that time and finally got to where I was wanting to get to. And I always said, you know, when I'm retired, I am really going to bake. And I, Kept my word. 
I mean, clearly Drake is not a part of God's plan. Clearly none of those people are. Taylor Swift wears like like vests, like costume vests with with a snake on it, with a red snake. What does that show? The devil. See, that's what that's the only part that tripped me out because they all believe in this God. So it's like it doesn't make sense. We we can't be following the same God because I'm not wicked like y'all. I'm really truly righteous. Right? You know what I mean? So I mean I don't know. It's just it's very simple, man. I mean, they're not worshiping or believing in God, they're believing in, in the devil. Right? And then you just get into the deep one thing I, I haven't done a whole lot of edibles. I'm just a I'm a smoker. I've I've got my preferred uh, way of doing it. But edibles, in my experience, definitely seem to help joint pain. Um, something that I don't necessarily get from marijuana, which I think is good for joint pain, not because it's analgesic, because you relax. That that kind of pain, if if you're if you're tense, it's just going to be that much worse. Deep part that it really just makes me uncomfortable to explain, because it's just so complicated. Like I, you know, I can't figure out what weed is nature's gift to humanity. There's no doubt about it. Um, I may be wrong, but to my knowledge, it's the only drug, and I don't really consider it a drug, at least not in its natural form, that does not require processing all you have to do with it is dry it that's what you know all i know is they just keep telling me like god is showing me he's real like cool you know sweet i mean i tend to prefer sativas because they my mind just opens up it's great for editing it's fantastic for writing the things just start coming at a rapid pace when when i'm smoking that that's what i want that's cool <laughs> keep showing me you know but y'all gotta understand man first of all all you all you fools that are sitting in new york living on and contrary to popular belief joe pack you will not Put a butcher knife through someone's skull. Off the government. You're nobody in New York. Okay? I am 100% going to be taking this movement to guess where? New York. New York City. Welcome to New York City. <laughs> Hybrids are, are really something else. An indica is a body buzz. A sativa is a head buzz. Hybrids are really getting that all over buzz down really good. Yes, it's running. He's just being quiet. Uh, okay. Clears his throat in the I grossest way when I was possible. Through New York. I lived in North Carolina on the coast. I went to college out there for a little, and I was just huge at the time. Was he ever in North Carolina? I know he was in Atlanta. To my knowledge, he's never been in North Carolina, but I could be wrong. When it comes to Tyrese Needlore, I'm not an expert. I'm just a know-a-lot. There are big holes in my knowledge. And Sorry, I'm looking at wires on the ground. And it's distracting me. That looks like a wire for an electric. Oh yeah, it's it's been done before. Electric scooter right there that's all crushed and torn up. That was the comment that I was commenting to before I put it on the screen. Obviously, I'm having a good time. Point is, man, I was in New York. I remember I was rolling around in my Chevy Cobalt I had at the time. Okay, trailer in North Carolina, followed by, said he went to junior college in North Carolina, 
or whatever DZ follows up to say, but I don't remember if I heard him say at a trailer in North Carolina or somebody, someone from Sneedville told me. So I will take that as a yes. At some point in time, his crusty feet were in fact planted in North Carolina. I remember I, I just was in really good shape like I am now, and I'm good looking. I remember like I pulled into some area to to go eat somewhere or go to a hotel or something might have been a hotel and there was like a white chick checking me out that wanted to get with me or whatever the movie i want to see this summer and i've never been a movie guy but there's going to be a re-release of the beatles yellow submarine with the kind of stuff that we have nowadays I'm going, and I'm going to be off my ass. Like, just immediately. Like, as soon as I stepped out of the car, like, I've been in, like, I don't know, I was, I was living in my yard. My favorite movie is Pink Flamingos, Honest. Uh, I, and I think it was Dallas Fort Worth area, right? And I was living in my truck at the time. I had just gotten out of renting out there in Irving, right? You got to understand, Irving is rough. Y'all want to claim your hood or ghetto? Go to Irving. You want to show me something? You want to earn some stripes? Go to Irving, Texas. I mean, did y'all see what happened? There's a short video out. I don't even want to talk about it, but. <laughs> Possibly the comment of the day is on your screen. I'll read it for you listeners. Negasonic middle-aged dickhead says, my favorite Christmas movie is Caligula. In Texas is, they are very active. Okay. Now let me explain something to you. I was in Irving. I was in the heart of all of it, in the in the eye of the hurricane, and I was literally. I, I've already spoken about it. I don't want to bring it up again. Honestly, I don't like talking about it. But I saw Caligula one time. It was early VHS days when they were the size of your desk and cost about two thousand dollars. Well, a friend of mine rented that and grabbed a couple movies, and one of them was Caligula because I was curious. About a half an hour into the movie, I wasn't really curious anymore, but there was just something about it. You just you, you couldn't turn it off. You couldn't take your eyes off of it, even though you desperately wanted to do both. Like, there was a whole ordeal and situation Oh, oh, sis, you've never heard of Caligula? The movie torched Malcolm McDowell's career for, for years. Uh, not only is it a bad movie, uh, it was an attempt to make a legitimate theatrical X-rated movie. Let's just say the movie didn't come off, but a lot of the actors did. And then... I, basically, I didn't back down at all, and I won. And then... Indeed, it is an X-rated movie. It was an X-rated movie. And it is it is beyond description what is depicted. Beyond description. On top of that, I found out how corrupt the... the uh... Yeah, whatever the dude was that had penthouse, Bob something or other, yes, he was... Yes, it was his... Um... I think he was the producer. Uh, um, well, just let's just say how corrupt Irving is, right? So, I mean, it, it's just, it's funny, man. You know, Irving, Irving is on some other stuff. Dallas, Irving, any of those areas, anything associated with Dallas is just bad news. I don't know why... People want to, people are like, oh, I want to live in Dallas. Like, oh, really? You do? <laughs> Nobody in their right mind. Okay. 
would want to live. Oh, yeah. A lot of the things that are depicted in Caligula are... I'm I'm not even going to say. I'm really not. In Dallas. Dallas is terrible. Like, honestly. Nothing good about it. It's just like Houston. Houston, they claim is... They act like it's worse. I don't believe that. I think that... Anything can happen anywhere, and I think Houston is honestly light compared to Dallas. Uh, I mean, no, nah, well, yeah, I mean, I think Houston's probably one of the harder places, but I don't think y'all know about Dallas, bro. I do. I know all about it. I'll tell you one thing, man. You take half these boys on YouTube who claim they tough, y'all could come down these blocks Y'all would say, nah, I'm not walking over there with you. Literally, if I asked y'all to just come walk with me, I'll go down any block. I ain't scared of nobody or nothing. Y'all fools would not, y'all would say, nah, bro, I'm not doing that. It'd be like, you crazy, bro. Like, I used to walk by the stew pot, homie. You know what the stew pot is? Look it up. <laughs> y'all funny. Feel me? I was I lived in the bridge for a time period while I was trying to get all my resources together and then I ended up going to Austin getting work and the whole time I was making payments on them taxes so I could sell that property and then I went to Austin Has anyone here ever seen an Andalusian dog? It's a Salvador Dali film. It's not perverse but it it's so out there. Austin and I was even in the arts for a while. Then you got people who try to twist that testament and act like that's all I ever did. Like, dude, no. I've I've always had like. It's on YouTube, an Andalusian dog. It's it's weird. I've just always had everything, man. I've always had stuff moving. Always made money. Always made bread. Like I'm a boss, bro. That's really why people get mad on here, because they can never move like me. I'm a boss. Even when I was going through that, it was only so I could pay my taxes. <laughs> here I am, restreaming Tyrese and he talking about art films now. What the fuck? It was only because, well, hey, I'm in a, I'm in a city that I, I didn't live An Andalusian dog, I mean, certainly not Caligula. Living. That's what it always is with me. I go out and I get it. You know, we're liable to do that again soon. You know, at some point, it's up to me. But the point is, I've been in the bridge, homie. Like, look up the stories on the bridge, what's happened there. I've seen all sorts of stuff in the bridge. Like, real talk, first-hand account. I talk about pink flamingos a lot. Has anyone here ever seen Female Trouble? It's actually a better movie. I used to get I mean they were both purposely bad but I just I love them I love them so much Divine was I thought Divine was fantastic and right before he died he got casted on Married with Children as himself as I believe Peg's uncle and he would have been cast and um as Glenn Milstead and it was a shame because I think he might have broke out I loved Divine get into it with them fools y'all think you tough on youtube <laughs> y'all could y'all couldn't even go in the bridge for like 24 hours none of you not one not one of you people who wants to judge me commentate on me i was in there every day homie and like the, one of the only white dudes especially that held his own like nah bro don't 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 try to tell me nothing that's what people don't understand like me i haven't backed down to anyone my entire life and I pretty much don't even have a... Yeah, it's kind of like that with Pink Flamingos, too. There are two edits out there. Uh, one of them doesn't include, and I'm not making this up, the singing asshole. You've never seen anything like it before. You'll never see anything like it again. And you'll, you may feel... You may think less about yourself afterwards. Scratch on me. And I don't act, I don't woof nothing. Like, I'm real. I'm the real deal. Right? So it's like, 
I have a lot that I can teach people. You know what I mean? And my whole deal is, like I said, ain't none of y'all even from New York. When I was in Atlanta, I was running dope boys off of corn. Horseshit. Has anybody here seen The Room? I haven't seen The Room, but I understand it to be one of those movies that is so bad it's hysterically funny. And I I do like those kind of movies. I also like bad music. I think bad music is funny. Look up Mrs. Miller. That's what I come from. I'm I'm a I'm a white hood nigga. And real talk, that's not playing. I'm not Rob Rack out here talking about stuff I'm not about. All that stuff he's talking is fake. He's not about anything. We all know that. He's just very, very not smart. And he displays that over and over. He's going to go back to prison soon because he's still online doing the same behavior that's illegal. Because he's very, very weak mentally. I know a little bit about Neil Breen because the guy that just absolutely rips Steven Seagal films, I Lord help me, I can't remember his name right now, but it's just hysterically funny. I've seen a couple of his videos on Neil Breen. And not smart. He's he's a fool, that boy, a fool. Rob Rack is a fool. I'm, hold on. I'm, hold on. I'm just being honest with y'all. You heard it. When I say, you know, I was young when Faces of Death first came out. Yeah, most of it's reenacted. Nonetheless, it's screwed up, and some of it's not reenacted. Oh, boy. That's what I was doing in it. They did, what, 25 of those or something? Atlanta, I'd walk all over the city by myself with, like, Under Armour, like a tight Under Armour shirt on. I'd go looking all ghetto with my do-rag onto the MARTA train and ride the train, and I'd sling my tapes, my CDs. I was a white boy in Atlanta, okay, where there's not too many white... Has anybody heard of a film called The World's Greatest Sinner? It's a Timothy Carey movie, I believe. Frank, a very young Frank Zappa, did the soundtrack. It's considered by the few that have seen it to absolutely be the worst movie ever made it has never been released on dvd never released on vhs never released on betamax it's never been released has anybody heard about it white people okay and i held my own and y'all y'all think anything is going to phase me you funny i was on the marta i'm a white boy mind you slanging tapes in dallas i had like like <laughs> homies like yeah uh, there's a song on there look up the world's greatest center on youtube not right now not right now but look it up on youtube there is a scene one scene that has managed to get out that i won't even try to explain to you but it's out there niggas with me right that would literally that's at the top of a lot of lists it really is but it, it tr- again it's one of those films that transcends the utter lack of talent from everybody involved and becomes a classic because of unintended comedy which is what we're dealing with with Tyrese Need same concept really like <laughs> they would tell me at the day, and I was telling I was a lot younger. Three guys, one hammer. I don't even know why I'm going to ask. Does that involve nails and testicles? As the stream goes silent. I'm so in Lennox, I was wearing, this is the most expensive mall, mind you, all of Dallas. Oh my God, it's even worse than that. Oh my God, that's even worse than that. 
Oh my God, it's even worse than that. Oh my God. No, I won't watch it. Slang and tape. Slang in my CD. So. John and Yoko once did a film of them sleeping for eight hours. And then they screened it. Like, I really come from the street. Like, I know how the streets work inside and out. I know how deep they are. I know who's who. I know what's what. I'm not running around like you fools paying homage and bowing down. I'm not Red Pill, right? Red Pill's a snitch. Right? He's a coward. I don't back down to no one. I don't do that that nicey talk. Oh. Well, he hasn't mentioned Red Pill in a while, and he's not been here in a while. I hope everything's okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I didn't mean anything offensive. That's Red Pill. What happened to him, by the way? What happened? He got locked up again for harassment. Digging glass out of his butthole. Let me hit the button. Is that what happened? Wouldn't leave that that Sarah Sarah alone. I don't even know who it is. I don't even know who that is. All I know is he's obsessed. That's all I know. What happened? You get locked up again? Obviously, you ain't on the internet. He he <laughs> he quiet now. I guess Tarm is real, right? So, my point is this, man. I don't even care about that fool, but my point is this. I really run the streets. Y'all don't understand what I've been through. I mean, when I was in the bridge, they used to bus us to the church. So, these are people trying to, other than the murder, trying to, to top two girls, one cup? Okay, in Dallas. I, I ran in, in Austin, I went to the diner. Never seen one, never gonna see one. I ran into the, the guy, the, the younger guy, that they were given some kind of money because he had like an expensive chain on. Yeah, the cameraman was probably standing there laughing. He was part of it, yes. Right? And, and we were all, everybody was talking, not we, but they were all talking about it. I was just listening. The intelligent ones that really run things and are really powerful and dangerous, they just be quiet and listen. Let these other fools run their mouth and talk. Right? You just said that. You just said you don't do that. Why are you giving out advice that you yourself don't follow? It's generally a bad idea. So, yeah, I ran into him in Austin, and I sat down next to him, and we were eating. He was cool. Talked to him. He's not a bad guy. I'm learning things today. That's that's all I'm going to say. I'm learning things today. I like him. And then, I don't know, it kind of seemed like he was down and out on I guess Vlasic's more, uh, not just a crunchy pickle. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. His luck at that time, too, and I was. Maybe he wasn't so, I don't know. But whatever he did, he basically, like, sold his soul, clearly. But whatever he did, it worked because... It just didn't seem... I don't know, Silicon. It's a fucked up world out there. It seemed like he really had much of an issue. We'd go in that church. I'm just telling y'all some stories here. We'd go in that church, homie. And I swear to God, there must have been mold in there. Uh, you've seen it, so I'll take your word that it's fake. But don't think for a minute that there aren't vomit freaks out there. They exist. Any twist that you can think of, there's a practitioner. Any twist. Or something, because every time you went in that church, every time, right? I need this. Every time, every time you went in that church, you'd get sick. Oh, for the love of God, I hope it is fake. But I'll, I'll never watch it to, to see. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> If you were consistently going in there, we'd all start, you know, having sniffles and coughing and hacking. There was something in there, like black mold or something, probably. Okay. And this is a public church. They're putting all these people that are coming in 
to the bridge and they would bust us over there, at least the men, right? I think it was just the men. Over there. I don't know if they do them. I tried after that. It seemed like they don't do it or they or you have to earn your spot. I don't know. Anyway, Big Trouble was from Chicago. Big Trouble was a huge... <laughs> I have to say that the conversations this afternoon have been far more interesting, mm, far more interesting than anything he's had to say. It, this has been a good one. Huge, huge black friend of mine, right? And y'all got to understand, like, I used to be sitting in the bridge, right? Just like sitting down, try, you know, just surviving, trying to eat, whatever I'm doing. <laughs> Red Screen says, I'll read it for you listeners. For example, some people are into Tyrese Need that way. Just ask Jenny. I'm pretty sure Jared would as well. It it amazes me that she had sex with him. Good God in heaven. Could you imagine? No, no, I won't even ask the question. You know, looking at what I got to take care of next at that time, because like I told you, I was concerned about this property at the time and then I sold it. It was a 50 acre property. I sold it for a hundred racks at that time. That money is gone. It's been gone. I used it to survive and live because I had to because of the position that everybody had me in. Right? Nope. No, it's because you're an irresponsible dick. That's why you're an irresponsible dick. And as we went over, she still owns the property, and it's worth hell a lot more than you sold it for. But he's ever done a thing for me. So, again, you got to understand, I'm not no loop. I'm not a failure. No. I know exactly what it is. I, I just keep winning, and the things that are out of my control, I just say, hey, you know, I'm all good with it, bro. You know, people try to hold me back, and that, and that's the truth. And you can't let that stop you, man. You got to keep pushing, you know? Seriously. Say something. Hold God on. damn you. Up, up, up. Hold on. Been getting lucky with hold on so far this afternoon. So, point is. Like that. How do I put it? Yeah, big trouble. He knew 52 blocks. Me in big trouble. I think you can probably. I'm. I'm not entirely sure myself. You can probably assume that he didn't sell it for a hundred thousand dollars because of his compulsive lying. He never. He almost never tells the truth about anything, and the things that he does tell the truth about, he shouldn't tell the truth about. I am, of course, talking about him getting his cup jizzed in the county. Kind of came to a disagreement at one point. <clears throat> I don't know if y'all remember that. Some of you were probably around, stalking, watching, whatever. All right, so 100000 maybe in the ballpark. Okay. Me and Big Trouble got into a disagreement. Um, because Yeah, that's the timeline that I definitely have. Right after he sold that, he went to Vegas and blew all but $7,000. Yeah, that's... Uh, Right on the timeline that I'm aware of, yes. <laughs> Which leads me to say, if you haven't seen Viva Las Vegas, what's keeping you? If you have seen it, what the hell? Watch it again. Basically, when he would say, really? Basically, when he would, he would, like, I do my, my, my matches, right? Like the boxing. And then I'd show him. And he would just say like some ultra negative stuff for no reason. You know what I mean? Yeah. I said in the uh, recent movie, karma, 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 karma chameleon that in a, in a crawl in a Chiron that the, uh, Property was over a million dollars in value. I didn't, of course, believe that it was, but you put that up there just to drive him out of his mind. And I'm like, bro, like, like, no, dude, like, you got to be real with yourself, you know? And I just wasn't having it because clearly, I mean, he was on some narcissistic stuff too. 
and didn't really know what he was talking about. He knew 52 blocks. And the point was, this is Big Trouble we're talking about from Chicago. His name is Big Trouble from Chicago. His name is Big Trouble from Chicago. Doesn't sound made up to me at all. So this is a nigga who, and, and shout out to Big Trouble, like all due respect, he was a good dude. Like he literally, I like him, I have nothing but respect for him. But like, I'm just being real and I addressed it at that time. If dude was real, you were scared shitless of him. But since he's not real, we'll just go on. But he was a cool dude. I just think that he would overcompensate a little. Well, a lot. Hey, everybody, it's Yuri Zod. It's Yuri Zod. You know, and I don't care about that. That's fine. But I'm just saying, it is what it is. Point is, this is not a dude like Nut Word, Nut Wad, who got ran out of Chicago. This is a dude that was really in Chicago and, like, active. Okay? And that's what y'all don't get is the pecking order of reality in the world in these streets is they all, they all either cool with me, they all cool with me, but I mean, at the end of the day, they all answer to me basically, right? So, I mean, I don't know what else to tell you, bro. You know, like my street rap sheet, my repertoire is undeniable. I'm thorough as it gets. You know, when they say thorough nigga, I'm thorough as it gets. Okay? This is what all made me. I mean, I have tons of experience. So like I said, in Atlanta, well, point is, I just wanted to explain to y'all a little bit of that. And Big Trouble taught me 52 blocks in the bridge, in the Dallas, the Dallas shelter called the bridge. That's where I learned 52 blocks. Directly from Big Trouble, he was trying to teach me the five variations, like the real, real nasty moves that you can't even really put on YouTube because <laughs> they're that, you know, they're that ridiculous and dangerous. You have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Anything that I've seen from your 52 blocks is you air knitting with your, with your legs spread in a wide stance while you're air knitting. I'm going to kick you in the nuts. I don't play like that. Okay. He was teaching me the whole system, and then I just had to leave. I had to jet, right? And I think it was because of the same thing, because y'all figured out that I was in Dallas, these people on here. And I was trying to get away from all that. So I was like, at the time, I had... But now that I think about it, maybe kicking him in the nuts wouldn't work, since apparently they've yet to drop. Too. So at the time, I was like... Uh, it wasn't just that it was just it felt like the right move and i just i got the ticket immediately to austin it was easier to get tickets then and i said i'm going to austin and they were like cool and that was it you know so everybody there was pretty cool man like i made some good for not everybody but then there was another dude who got like some karma because he was like low-key hating on me that one that did the video when we were doing the video in the library that was always kind of talking sideways, but like real low key. It's coward energy. The usual. No surprise there, right? Yeah. Uh, experts say that their styles would be equally effective. So, like I said, I'm just telling you the truth. That's what happened. Right? Big Trouble taught me 52 blocks in Chicago. Right? And. You know, Yuri, I really, really wish that he would get another Batman costume. I really do. But it's so hot down there, I think he's going to go with the empty empty bulletproof vest and the wife beater. With the, with the Batman thing on a scooter, again, he will get another one. And he will continue to go unquestioned by the authorities. It's kind of disturbing. I'd, I'd want to know where he's going. Moving forward, like I said, when I was in Atlanta, um, I was running dope boys off of corners. Perfect time to introduce bitches can't resist the beautiful smile of Tyrese Need. How are you doing on this beautiful Thursday afternoon? That's what I was doing. I'm not joking. So, I mean, you gotta understand, we all you know, we all come from different walks of life, like. I've been a snob. I've 
I've never been a snob. I've always been down to earth, honestly. But I'm saying I've had I've seen more money than anyone you'll ever meet. And I don't really care about money. I just know how to materialize it. I care about it to an extent. The oil drum vest. I forgot all about that. That would be a good play. <laughs> it's important, God. but I'm not money hungry like other people. And it's crazy because, like I said, the most money hungry people. I am doing great, BCR. I'm hanging out with friends. Doesn't get much better than that, at least not with your clothes on. They never have any money. You ever notice that? So back to the point, right? Okay, hold on. Okay. Back to the point hey. of reality. That's what I was doing in Atlanta. I was running dope boys off corners. Like real talk. I was going into the real hood, like uh, Cutler Ridge. You can research all this. I was in Bankhead. Okay. Went through all that major ordeal stuff. I'm smart. I well, not necessarily, Yuri son. This is the internet after all. You can be nude if you want to be. Know how to talk. I was just wrong place, wrong time. Talked my way out of it. You know what I mean? Got through that. Right? I was in there with, with the dope boys from Bankhead for real. So, like, I've been right next to all the dope. Two new guests to the show this afternoon. Will you please welcome Best in Show and Wigger Killer Deluxe. Welcome to the show. Oh, boys, right? And honestly, they were all afraid of me. When I first got in, in there in ATL, I remember I was, uh, was at the sink. And, like, like... I'm used to, like, spitting in the sink. You would think that used to spitting in the sink. Uh, anyway, you would think he would still have that gray suit because he didn't wear it very much because I think he realized it, it made him look even dumber. I, I think that's it. Knowing him, he still doesn't have it, though. Right? And this is just things you learn. Like, at this point now, I wouldn't do that because I'm just not... I, you know, I didn't realize that I was being rude, really. But I was I was young. So. And here we go. I just love to say this. Ladies and gentlemen, put it together for Baby Gangsta Dick, world's most diabolical cock, 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 crap. Here right now. Like, I, I'm watching, I've watched movies with, like, Tyrese and stuff. <laughs> so I'm thinking when I go in there that I'm supposed to be like that. And boy, I had them boys so shook in, in Atlanta. And Rich sure does appreciate that, Lola Cost. And right here, we have another arrival. Please say hello to Martin. I swear to you, bro. And I was like 17, 18. Like, I was just, I, I was I was young. I, I was a kid, you know? And I had them shook. Them niggas were shook, you know? The, 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 the guy told me, and he had been in there forever, okay? And he was like... uh I mean, to me, at this point, he'd be called, like, what do they call him? Like, a herb? I live by an airport, can you tell? Because he was, like, in the mess hall. You know what I mean? So he was doing, like, the cleaning and all that stuff. That's a herb. Like, that's a coward. Right? Like, you're never going to see, you're not going to see someone, unless they're just trying to make money, that's doing, like, the mess hall and all that, if they're not a coward. Right? Point is, how do I put it? So. Yeah, like, how do I put this? Yeah, he just, he told me, like, bro, that's where we brush our teeth. And I told him to be quiet in, in a much meaner way, screamed on him, and told him, I don't care what it is, basically. Like, <laughs> I'm doing it, what's up? That's how I'm built. Right? Now, at, at this point, I think it was kind of rude. You know, because I'm older now, and I actually, I have a higher moral compass. When yeah, it's uh, it's pretty busy over there at the Union County Airport here in the last 10 minutes or so, really going on. I was young. I really didn't care. I didn't have much of a conscience. That's what a lot of you don't know. I was, I was really bad when I was young. When I was young, I didn't have no conscience. I didn't really realize what I was doing, you know, and I was pretty mean-spirited sometimes. And I was, I was dangerous. <laughs> I was going into all black clubs like Club Q and ATL. Why would anybody 
put so much emphasis on well first of all he's not he's not that person but why would you brag about being a violent asshole yeah you know, obviously he's not a violent asshole just to me it's a very very fucked up thing to brag about if that's all you got you really don't have anything yeah you can beat the shit out of everybody around you but what you got beyond that probably nothing and walking up on niggas who are with a whole crew okay i swear to god and the nigga said something like why are you standing with my crew or something i said you know what i told him it's the funniest comeback because you're in a gangster club called club q you can research this i bet and club q used to have like the worst stuff happen possible every single week and i'm in there by myself dolo just just me and they're all you know um let's say they're all prepared come on dude you've been doing good so far i know you got more in there hi mr douglas I love that show. I love that show. Green Acres was on acid. That show was absolutely a trip. One scene that I remember while I'm tap dancing, hoping he talks again. Oliver and Lisa are going to bed. Good night, Oliver. Good, good night, Lisa. She turns the light off, and there's the first production credit. She turns the light on, wakes Oliver up, and says, did you see that? No, I didn't see it. Will, will you go to bed? Turns the light off. There's the next production credit. Click. Oliver, honestly, there's there's something going. Lisa, will you be quiet? It was just bent. Absolutely bent. It's one of the greatest things I've ever seen. And let me go forward here so that I can stop talking about things that you really don't care about. And we can catch a few more minutes here of Tyree's Need. Okay, so far, not so good. Going on. Again, this, this might actually be the end of this one. He did have his chat open in this particular stream. And no, nobody is in there. Okay, I think this one here may just about be done. And it is. I'm going to go ahead and do one more. I got some uh, momentum going, and I have a little, just a little bit of time to kill. And what better way to do it than hanging out with you good people on Negative 43 TV? Okay, let's, let's follow that up with part two. We've seen I Run New York, and we're going to close this afternoon's stream with I Run New York part two. Of course he doesn't, but that's part of what makes it so much damn fun. Okay, let me get this queued up, hopefully. I've had a lot of luck with that today. Okay, we hit the magic button, and... What people on this network don't understand, I don't first think of all, we got the whole thing here, media. so... Apparently, she's watching arrest videos right now. Ooh, back and forth, back and forth. Forward. Right. Okay back a little bit more thank goodness i have the curtain drop because this is all awkward af okay i i think we may may actually have it going on here and go ahead and bring the curtain up what are you doing there he is so uh, i continue to try my best to put hey everyone it's eddie guerrero push forward all right despite everything I've been through and being against all odds. I loved Green Acres and I loved Hogan's Heroes. When I was a little kid, I absolutely adored Sergeant Schultz. You know, Schultz wasn't a Nazi. Schultz was in on it. Just everything that's happened to me. Like I said, I plan to take this movement to New York, 100%, okay? So, I don't know what... 
You're never going to leave the border. Please stop. What people on this network don't understand, first of all, I don't think about any of you. I don't care. I could care less how you feel. All right. Anytime you hear about me, Oh my goodness, you love the same shows I do. Yes, F Troop was... It's hard to believe that F Troop only lasted two seasons because it's been in reruns forever. I'm always doing me and doing what I need to do, right? Handling my business. Taking care of business every day. Taking care of business. So like I said... Leave that damned song alone. And if you want to know the difference between the sounds of a Stratocaster and a Gibson, listen to any BTO record. It will become clear quickly. I'm taking this movement back to New York. Not to New York, back to... I was already in New York. Okay? To carry off where I left off last night... What I was saying is, I went and ate in and yeah, the dude was like, like, why are you standing with my crew or whatever? <laughs> and I was like, 17 or 18, I was like, you wish I was part of your crew. <laughs> it's funny as hell. And now a man who is really upping his font game, it's the real French does. And like and like I was kinda of like like I just thought I thought it was funny, so I was kinda of like joking, but I just thought it was hilarious. And then I uh there's like a like a hood dude like trying to grill me, right? Like another one. Like, they were all, like, perplexed. And so he's trying to grill me and look at me like he's tough or whatever. Okay. Like, the, the stuff that would go on in those clubs sometimes was just, like, astronomically weird. So, yeah, he's like trying to grill me, look at me tough, and I, I got, I, I got him and got right in his face. And I screamed, screamed, like, what? Like, right in his face. Screamed on him. See, I don't get, I, I, I've been doing that for a long time. Like, I don't fear anybody. You know what I mean? No, I, I don't know what you mean. That's another thing that's just kind of joked out. You just want to, you want to rip on it so bad, but you've already done it 200 times. Like, so, and he didn't do nothing. Same thing, he just backed down. So they were like, this white boy is crazy. And uh, you just got to understand, like, how bad the situation was like you gotta do your research on Club Q man Club Q was uh nothing to play with yeah I'm sure it's not an exact quote of Joseph Goebbels but tell the lie big enough and often enough and it becomes the truth it's not the exact quote but the meaning is there so yeah I'm just saying when I'm telling y'all the truth of what I what I come from, it's all 100% fact. It's not an opinion. It's not what I wish reality was. It's just actual reality. That's who I am. Been through a lot. I've seen a lot of walks of life. A lot of kids on Walker and Jock. Okay. And you have to understand, like, how do I put it? 
I don't know. You all are not ready for what I'm bringing to the table. I mean, it's just that simple. I mean, you're you're not ready. You you don't understand me. I'm a different kind of animal, right? You, you you're not handling the truth very well already, and I'm just barely getting started. Okay, as far as street ball, I mean, I'm a living legend. So the point with all that is that I'm going to Rucker Park. Y'all are acting like it's a big deal. You're not going to get a run. First of all, you're not going to Rucker Park. We've all seen you play basketball. I haven't played basketball in probably 20 years, but I can tell you that you have a crappy shot and you don't play defense for certain. Um you don't handle the ball very well. You don't seem to go to your left hand very much there, buddy. That's something you really, really need to do. If you're going to play basketball effectively, you are an eighth man on a seven-team rec team. Rucker Park? Are you serious? Bro, I'm going to shut down the building in my sleep. Let's just put it like that. Like they, They're going to be going crazy when they see me playing Rucker Park because of how I play and because I'm a white boy. They've never seen anything like me. It doesn't exist. I'm the only foreign media. They better than that. Dr. J played at, Rug, uh, played at Rucker Park. Uh, ever heard of Earl Manigault? He's considered the legend of Rucker Park. You couldn't touch him. It's just the truth. So it's it's going to be interesting. I, that's all. I just think it'll be fun. And I'm telling you right now, they're like they're gonna love love me out there. But even in New York. I have stories from New York. I was in Albany, same thing. Intimidating niggas, running niggas off blocks. I'm not lying. Except it was different environment than Atlanta because in Atlanta, that was actually like what I was doing, right? And I was in like, I was smack dab in the middle of Bankhead, okay? Running everything. So in New York, it was just me just moving around. I was in my, um, in my truck at the time and yeah, like I think it was, was it the truck or my, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I went up there more than once. Cause I thought I had a truck at one point. Maybe I was in the Cobalt. I know one time I was in the Chevy Cobalt. You know, if you don't lie, you don't have to remember them. Easy. When I went through New York, because I remember I had blonde hair, blue contacts, and I walked into a convenience store, and a black guy like stopped and asked me if I was running from something, and I'm like, I really wasn't. I'm like, nah, I just like... Have blonde hair, and like those are the contacts. That, like, like I was originally completely like platinum blonde, so really it just looks like me. You know, other than the blue contacts, but I just like having them. They look cool on me. But there is no you. You don't exist. I mean, as a person, there is no you. You're just kind of an organism that exists. Your personality is tends to be what makes you. I mean, in combination with your actions, of course, you couldn't be less of nothing. There are trank heads in Kensington that have it better than you do. Say yeah, something, I don't know. bastard. He asked me that and he was like, because you have like a like a real like like a calisthenics bill like a penitentiary bill like and i was young and he was still telling me that like he's like 
like you do a lot of calisthenics push the he thought i was like on the run from something and it was it was pretty funny it was kind of interesting how he stopped me and asked me that and i mean it makes sense but no i was like i wasn't on the run i was just like traveling and looking around and having fun you know i had met some some people and uh where were we was it north carolina i think it was north carolina i met a guy from ohio who wanted to be a comedian hung out with them for a little while i was nowhere in the area i think he was even telling me i could have stayed there at his spot i don't think i ever did but he was pretty cool some ohio niggas um but basically in albany they were running from me the whole time i was traveling in new york anytime yep that's how he's seeing it albany i'd get out my car they'd be scared they'd be shook that's all i remember i remember people like saying things hooting and hollering they didn't really say much to me though but i just remember that my presence every time i was around you may have hit on an idea for next Saturday, Joe Pack. Like, I'm just telling you the truth. They were shook, bro. In New York, them boys were scared of me. So, you know, there's a big difference between any state and Texas. Like, Texas doesn't play at all. Like, Texas is the worst state, period, when it comes to anything like that. So, I don't know what y'all mean. Not anymore, it isn't. Like, this, this having, like... Acting like it's a state competition is just... Article of Evidence 1, you. You ran. They caught you. You were looking... You had to be looking at a year. You got time served for beating a woman in front of her two children years ago. It did not help that she did not show up to court. Nonetheless, you should have been cooked. You let your ass go. Texas is soft, B. It's silly. Because. Every hey, and it's awkward. Shanty, you of course know him better as Flock. Everybody going to lose every time to Texas. It's just that simple. Like, I'm Texas born, Texas bred. Right? There's no comparison. No. Toughest, toughest, toughest McCoy there is. I assure you of that. Okay. So good, good talk. You know, I don't know. I, a lot of it I don't understand, but my point is just I'm going to be in New York, homie. I'm going to be in New York. Not going to be concerned about any. You're absolutely right, Flock, about all you can do with him at this point is to either edit him or just hang out with a bunch of friends. You should have been here earlier. We've been on two or three different subjects that had nothing to do with Tyree Sneed. I have probably listened to him for an hour and a half, maybe, during this whole thing. We're over three hours. You YouTubers, you're not even YouTubers. Yeah, I don't do nothing on YouTube. No, I understand the whole thing. And that's my whole point. Is like, y'all don't even exist. You don't have an identity. So you could just stay mad and it's whatever. Nobody cares, right? But for me, I got a lot that I'm going to be accomplishing in New York. And when Christina comes through, like I said, we're going to have the funds to do everything. So... Never ever flock. Today it's all about the company you keep. I don't know what to tell you, man. I mean, all I'm looking forward to is being with Christina. That's all I've ever wanted. And uh, other than that, I mean, it just is what it is. You know what I mean? I have a lot of fans, a lot of supporters. I need more financial supporters right now. And I mean, like I said, I want to get like a 3D printer. I want to see if you can print with materials like titanium and uh, other stuff. 
Kelly. I don't know anything about 3D printers. I'm pretty sure they're plastic based. I would think titanium would be out of the question, but hey, what do I know? Bar and all that type of stuff. <laughs> Doing a lot of research on all that so that I can just. Dis no, I'm not. And I really was hoping that nobody heard the damn toilet. Design my own. Bat and if you were listening really closely, it got flushed twice. Man masks, the, the bat suits, all that right there, and have them made out of the right materials. Either way, I'm still probably going to be wearing a plate underneath it, maybe in the front and the back um, for protection. It just depends. But that would be the point is that's what you really need. You really need a 3D printer that can print and those materials so that it's just made out of the right materials and then you'll have some protection everywhere you know what i mean because i could even get like a cover probably that i take on and off on the mouth that covers the whole mouth you know because they leave that open but like you really kind of you know want that protected i really didn't think so but with the way things advance anymore you never say never but it it sounded impossible to my untrained ear at certain times if you can you know so i mean i'm talking about really designing these things and building them um you can get the stl files like i got bought one before so i have one for the helmet already i could find it and I'm sure I can. <laughs> story of my life i'm sure i have one if i can find it i kind of felt that one so that's what i want to do and then we'll have like our own little probably like rent rent a warehouse or something is what i'm thinking or just buy it but we'll see and maybe we could like you know make it comfortable too but I want to have all that. That way I can just design stuff, be building things. Um, like I said, I'd like to take that metal shaping course in Boston so I can learn how to build my own vehicles. Metal shaping courses in Boston. Can you believe it? Billy Batsy's coming your way. Make sure he gets a shine box. If I can do all this effectively, you're looking at something the world's never seen already you're looking at something the world's never seen but what i'm saying is this is all i'd be doing is being with christina and working and building batman and what i'm doing and finding assignments like it's not <laughs> fake bro. yeah i know i'm pretty sure there are probably trade schools in the area where he could learn to do that it's just like what you see on on your screen it's it's all going to be brought to life and, and real so i mean i'm excited about it you know and that's about it it's just going to be on another level a lot of people don't understand i'm not i'm not a local batman it was never designed for me to just be local i'm going to branch out and do this all over the country and hopefully the world and hopefully help a lot of people and do a lot of good things so you know that's what you have to look out for you know, look forward to. All right. All right. Give me a minute. Okay. He asked for a minute here, and I believe, yes, he asked for a minute, and that's the end of that stream. And that is all that I have for you on this Thursday afternoon here on Negative 43 TV. Again, there won't be a, a Saturday Madness this week. I will be out of town with family, but it will return next week, and we may well be looking at the Lily situation next Saturday night, so that could be something to look forward to. I know I'm looking forward to it, so since I am not going to be on this weekend, I'm going to go again tomorrow afternoon about... 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Daylight Time here in the United States. Figure your time accordingly. And we should be getting back together at that point. At least I certainly hope so. So I'm Rich Baratode. And until the next time, I'll talk to you. <laughs>